those iPhone lapel mics because I I want to increase my sound quality. You feel me? <clears throat> for sure, for sure. Yeah, man. You said you got a new gaming chair? Yeah, a new gaming chair and a new laptop today. Gotcha. Yeah, that's like dope, bro. Uh, we got eight people here. Let's go ahead and, and, and like the live, y'all. Let's get it to let's get it to a thousand. Let's get the likes to a thousand. I got Compass um co-hosting with me. This time we're gonna do a little different. You know, it's Tussle Tuesdays. We do this every Tuesdays, Thursdays, Tussle Tuesdays, Tussle Thursdays. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be a one on one. Yeah, I mean, if uh if if uh Coco wants to go ahead and and uh take on the guests, he'll take it on. If I want to go ahead and take on the guests, I'll take it on. And we'll do one v one, and we'll moderate. How that sounds to you, Coco? That sounds good. All right, cool, cool. So go ahead and like the live. Go ahead and share it. And let me know what y'all what, what y'all think of the topics. What you think of these topics, Coco? Mm, I like them. I'm actually interested in like hearing um, Christian's response to like the problem of evil. I know it's like, it's like a. It, I wouldn't say basic, but it's like a commonly talked about uh, topic. Mm -hmm. But um, I've never really heard like the Christian perspective on like um, the problem of evil and like how they resolve that with God. Um, I've heard a couple things, but it, it's from like some Christians who aren't that educated. Mm -hmm. um, but the, never from any intellectuals. The most I've heard is that the problem of evil is not an issue because it's all according to God's plan and God's plan is ultimately good. But the thing is, if let's say we accept that, right? God has a plan, but if it's, if his plan is to let you no know, unnecessary suffering happen, that automatically takes him out of all being all good. You know what I mean? Because an all good God, he would have no reason to have um, unnecessary suffering. That, that, that makes no sense. Now, and, yeah. the, the, and the thing that they, they fall back on is to the mysterious ways argument, which is nonsense. It's a logical fallacy. Like, his ways are higher than our own. Um, yeah. I, I Well, it might not be a logical fallacy, but it doesn't really make sense as an argument. I think it's a logical fallacy. The, uh, I, I don't know what fallacy it is, but if I could put a name on it, I would put the, the fallacy of the tyrant, basically. Because you're basically saying you can't, you can't question whatever this authority says. That's essentially, you know, a, a tyrannical figure that you can that you can never question. And I don't know what the name of it is, but if there is a name for it, you know, unquestionable authority, I'll just call it the, the fallacy of the tyrant. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because why can't we question the authority? Yeah, because, yeah, now you're arguing what you're saying. Yeah, just like someone said in the comments, even, even angels rebelled against the against God according to the scriptures. So if if you know if his angels, his creations that he made to mitigate out creation, you know what I'm saying? If they can they they can rebel, they can question we can't. That that makes no sense. All right, y'all we almost at a thousand y'all. Let's get it let's get this to a thousand. If you are a Christian or any type of believer or anything like that, go ahead and request and, and come up. I would like to to hear what you got to say. Go ahead and share this with uh with more people. Go ahead and share this with uh, with all your friends. I really want to hear what y'all what y'all got to say. If we, <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe I'm not as uh as popular as you, Coco, because you, you be having you be having everybody to come on yours. Oh no, you just got to get the right people in there. I'm only able mm -hmm. to do of the people who helped me and um, I'm grateful for them my friends atheists and Christians alike mm. I just uh, I work with people like I talk with the Christians I talk with the atheists like you be seeing me right like I'd be like in Christian lives just chilling and, like being friends with the Christians and like my goal is to like steel man the Christian position and mm. steel man the atheist position and uh, let the best idea win, you know, host lives, debate people and have conversations and see which one's the best idea and let that govern my life. Yeah, I do think it's a, it's important to um, understand, you know, certain ideas. And, you know, there, there, there there's not a lot of atheist arguments that are very good. I mean, uh, I'll say this, not every atheist argument is good. You know yeah. what I'm saying? 
because a lot of atheists do argue from the position of ignorance, which is, I don't think, a, a good uh, way to uh, to discuss with Christians. Yeah. All right, we got our first guest, Lotus. How you, how's it going? Going good. How you doing, Volsi? I'm all right. I'm all right. All right, so what you got? Okay. What do you think of the topic? Do you want me to be... Like, cause I, I like, I, are you like, I'm kind of, um, well, you know, a while back, I always ask questions like this myself, like about like, well, if God's so good, why is he allowing all this evil and stuff and all this other stuff? You know, I kind of got to the point where I was like, why are we waiting on God? Like, why don't we do it ourselves? Like dead facts. Like how many years are we going to wait for this dude? Like, obviously whether he comes or not, we're the ones down here. We should not be dealing with it whether it's children suffering or well actually they supposedly have the cure for cancer and people have been cured of cancer so i mean i don't know about that but as far as the amputee thing yeah. we do have antibiotic arms and with the ai coming up and with you know all the um what do you call them robot stuff going on we'll probably have even better ampu- um mm-hmm. like arms and legs and stuff so that is definitely going to be better in the future as far as cancer i believe we have the cure for cancer but it's just a multi-billion dollar industry and you got to basically cure yourself because you're just after a while you are basically just a customer right basically so like um you can't cure a customer right Right. I mean, um, at the at, yeah, I I I do, I do agree with, with, with what you're saying. Like, um, you know, what I mean, like we can do all these things ourselves, and we have been. Uh, is 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 just that when it comes to the the Christian position, when they say God heals all and everything like that, they they purport to have you know miracles. For example, you know, you have people like Benny Hinn. You know what I mean, now a lot of your modern day Christians, or a lot of um, you know, your your run run the you know run the mill Christians will say that Benny Hinn's uh is, is false. And yeah, of course he he is, but a lot of them still believe that there are prophets, modern day prophets out there, actually healing people. You know what I mean? On on the um on the Black Atheist YouTube, I actually reacted to a video just recently of a Christian saying that he saw miracles of someone getting up and walking around. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's like these people actually do still believe that uh these these things uh happen. You know what I'm saying? So the question then becomes, okay, cool. And there's people who still actually still believe that, you know, God's cured, you know, granny's cancer. So it's like, all right, cool. If that's the case, well, I always <laughs> say, why is it doesn't happen on a consistent basis? And not only that, if people are claiming that prayer works, why do well, children suffer needlessly? There's, there's no point of it, you know? No, I'm not disagreeing with you there. However, now I, got you. I have a friend who's pagan. <laughs> And of course, they believe in the gods and goddesses of old, which I understand their basis on that because, quite honestly, it's not out of the realm of possibility. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, their old gods and goddesses who are like you know human, they um they had some very extremely good powers. Uh, some turned fire, so like um, there's definitely re- records of us as our humanoid species of itself being able to do amazing things. Hey, Lotus, can I you mean, pause real quick? Jesus turned water to wine. I don't care what anyone says. That's probably the best miracle ever. I got you. Lotus, Lo- 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 pause me real quick. Uh, War Sprite, um, request to come up, and after Lotus is done, I'll, I'll let you up. My bad, Lotus. Go ahead. Lotus, you can go ahead. I was just No, can you hear me, man? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I'll just respond to a comment. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay. My question is, is I feel like as a species, even if we put away the religion aside, we have been recorded as a species to do amazing and big and powerful things. Maybe we can cure cancer. Maybe we can um, stop the suffering of children. And my thing is, is that- Agreed. um, We should should be doing it. anyone or anything to do that i mean there's plenty of re- records whether you want to go with the mythology or if you want to go with christianity hell even in christianity they say jesus turned water to wine i don't know about you but i need to learn that trick okay I, I, that's one thing <laughs> i will be trying to figure out how to do but until now <laughs> until then um oh. i mean you got plenty of gods and goddesses of old who've been recorded throughout centuries of research and history on this earth that have done 
amazing things mm -hmm. look at some even are it, it i feel like honestly mm -hmm. we do have the power we just don't know how to use it yeah look, i, I, like I, I would have found the cure for cancer but honestly if you cure cancer they, they won't have a customer anymore so we make it so that we don't need money anymore and right, if right. you don't if you make it so we don't need money anymore <laughs> We can get back to either fixing this earth, whatever, like do whatever. Right, right. I mean, on when it, when it comes to Maybe even explore the galaxies because we haven't even hit a different galaxy yet. Right, right, exactly. I mean, when it comes to the entire no, go ahead. Uh, cure for when it comes to the entire cure for cancer thing, um, what I always say is that I I do understand why people would say that, would believe that, you know, they don't put it out because then then they'll they'll lose customers. But the uh, the the thing is is like. If someone were to cure cancer, their names will go down in history. You know what I'm saying? And like, look at Einstein for a matter um, as uh, as a as an example. Einstein, he didn't do that because he he wanted he wanted customers. He wanted he did that because of his legacy. You see what I'm saying? So if if someone has has a cure for cancer and they're holding it back because they want money, it seems uh, it seems a little you know. It, it that, not 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 crazy, but it's, no, no, no. it's like it's your mistaken. name will go down and yeah, exactly. Your name would go down more because you'll you'll actually make more money by curing cancer because Listen. not only will you become famous, your name will go down in history. You could probably patent it. You see what I'm saying? So it's, it's like it seems you'll make more money if you if you see. I understand what. Well, here's the problem. Okay, because. This is true. I understand your perspective on it. But mm -hmm. for example, I'm sure you've heard of Dr. Sebi, right? Have you heard of oh, Dr. Yeah. Sebi? Yeah, he's a quack. Sebi's a quack. He's a quack. Um, well, he's been... Well, this quack has recorded proven evidence of curing a lot of things. So, I mean... No, he doesn't. And then he ends up dying. So no, he 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 actually doesn't. That's why that's why Dr. we say he's Sebi a quack. was recorded to be dead. Yeah, no, Doctor Sir, no, Doctor Sebi's dead. He died. Now he's saying he never, he's right, right. He um he he didn't he didn't cure anything, or at least he never proved it. He never proved that he cured anything. He claimed that he did, and he said that he had people that could that could come forward, but they never really come forward. It's it's some it's always some obscure vague thing. Like for example, Doctor Sebi is actually, I say doctor because he's a herbalist. When he went to court in in New York City. They actually charged him with false advertising because he actually put out there that he was curing people, and there were actually witnesses that came in and said that he didn't cure me; he made me worse. So they actually told him that he has to stop saying that. You see what I'm saying? Like Dr. Sebi, he's, he's he's a quack. He never, he never proved. Excuse me. He never approved or showed that he cured anyone. Uh, Dr. Sebi, the uh, African American. No, Dr. Sebi, no, he well, was. He's actually I a Honduran. Got, oh, I got oh, a yeah. totally different story about Dr. Sebi. Yeah, trust me. Look, look, look him up on, on Quack Watch. He never cured anything. Look up his like his court cases in New York. The only reason he got off on a court case in New York for other Quack problem. Say that again. Well, here's the other problem. Even when you fact check it, the fact checks are proving wrong. So it's like, <laughs> I just stopped caring after a while. I guess. Here's the thing. It's like you can only fact check so many things. Here's here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing about people like Sebi, right? They never actually substantiate what they're saying because the thing is, I have no problem with people having issues with like um the Western scientific field or the Western way we do medicine. Holistic medicine is like it it is valuable. You know what I'm saying? Like the way that our African ancestors did things, that's valuable. You know what I'm saying? Like for example, Africa came up with inoculation way before Europe. Because remember, there were civilizations in Africa that did have smallpox. They knew how to fight against it way before Europe did. You see what I'm saying? So it's, it's not like, you know, those old ways are not valuable because they, they clearly are. It's just that you have to substantiate what you're saying. If I were to tell you this drink that I bought from Publix cures AIDS, you know what I'm saying? You just can't take my word from it. I'm going to have to prove it to you. You see what I'm saying? And that's something like how Dr. Sebi did. He just said, hey, drink this and mucus causes all disease. And we know that isn't true. We know mucus doesn't cause disease. It's, it's germs and viruses. You know what I'm saying? So the thing is, I have no problem with his dietary advice because a vegan diet is better for you. That's just facts. You know what I'm saying? And um, 
you know, uh, drinking a lot of water is good for you. That's facts. You know, drinking teas and getting your medicine from more of the earth than antibiotics. Sometimes the, the earthly medicine can help you more than antibiotics. I have no problem with that. No, those are facts. But if you're going to jump to saying that mucus causes HIV and not cured it by eating avocados, you're taking a leap. <laughs> you see what I mean? Oh, one last thing. War Sprite. I see you chatting in the comments. Well, like I said, I Please haven't done up. extreme research. Do you have any uh, specific articles in mind? I just what? had to stop in quick. Oh, no, I do have no, um, I don't, unfortunately, like, I don't, like, you know, I was just stopping in. However, my, my definite answer would be that there are some natural remedies for things that we can provide for ourselves today. Um, mm -hmm. Like nature and natural stuff that can help us with whatever ailments. Definitely, definitely. I, like I, I agree with that. Like a lot of stuff. From nature. I mean, we all know coffee's good. <laughs> we all need yeah. it every morning, right? <laughs> we don't need it every morning, yeah, because it, it could, you know, it could, it could damage you. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree with you. Natural things can help. And what I've always told people well, is this. Just using that as an example. Yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you, I understand. But I've always told people this. Natural medicine, I have no problem with natural medicine. I have no problem with holistics. I have no problem with going, um, like, doing majority of nature things. Because I'm from the West Indies. We love our ginger tea. Our ginger tea cures everything. We love our castor oil. For for Haitians, it's called lul tea, which is basically castor oil. We love our our castor oil. You know what I'm saying? So I I I, I get it. Every time I'm sick, I'm drinking my ginger tea. I go straight to that. I don't I don't I don't pop a Tylenol. I drink ginger tea. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. I got you. But there are things that are more serious that are going to take antibiotics and holistics can't cure everything. You see what I'm saying? Like if you get infected, oh I'm not get septic. Right. Yeah yeah I got you. I'm not excluding the Western modernized medicine as well, but I am mm -hmm. saying that there are case studies where there's no side effects. There are side effects with Western medicine versus yeah. um, more of the natural approach. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But oh, hey, yeah. I mean, I'm Definitely. not about to debate on that, but I. No, I agree. I with do you got to go, right. guys. I didn't expect it to be this long. Um, But yeah. Uh, no problem. All right. No well, problem. It's great I'm... talking, guys. I got to go. Bye. No problem. I'll give everybody 15 minutes. So I'll, I'll see you later. All right. Cool. Listen, I see y'all chatting in the, in the, I see y'all chatting. I see everybody talking, but if you disagree with anything up here, please come up. So if you can't read this bottom one, it says, if prayer works, why do children suffer needlessly? Ooh. That's what the bottom one says. I didn't expect my, my shirt to be blocking it. But the bottom says, if prayer works, why do children suffer needlessly? And this one says, why doesn't God cure cancer on a consistent basis? That's what these two say in case you can't see it because my face is blocking it. I should probably change up the, um, the thing, but I'll do that later. But anyway, if you disagree or want to discuss, go ahead and come up. Well, you can't really disagree. But if you uh, want to discuss these uh, three topics, come on up. Oh, for the person that told me I have any family in the country, yes, I do. Most of my family is here. I have family over in Haiti, but they're not where the trouble is. Here's the thing I'm going to tell people about Haiti. I'm going to make a, a video about this probably later this week. This is what I'm going to tell people about Haiti. Um, do you remember January 6th? What happened at the Capitol a few years ago, January 6th? Y'all see, y'all saw that on TV, right? But you were at home chilling. That's basically the situation in Haiti right now. Everything that's happening that you see on TV is happening only in Port-au-Prince. Remember, Haiti is a country of 12 million people. Port-au-Prince is 2 million. It's a lot of people. It's one of the biggest cities in the Caribbean. It's 2, it's two million people there. But that's where the issue is happening at. The other 10 million are in the other nine departments chilling. You could go to port au right now and not run into any issues. You can go to Jaime right now and not run into any issues. You can go to Lafayette right now and Pétionville right now and not run into any issues. All the problems are situated in Port-au-Prince, the capital. Nowhere else has any issues. All right? So don't think that if you go to Wendeo or Lacaille or any, any of those other areas in Haiti, 
that you're gonna run into problems. You can fly into the western part of Haiti, or I would say the eastern part. You can fly into the eastern part of Haiti right now, you know, close to the Dominican Republic, and go to a resort right now. You know, there's white sandy beaches over there, like right now. You can go to a, on vacation in Haiti right now. It's not everywhere. So I do have family here, most of my family here, and you know, we're good. All right, but if you want to discuss any of these topics, please come up. Please don't just talk in the comments. Yeah, Capaisian is safe right now. Capaisian is not, there's nothing going on in Capaisian. All right, we do got another guess. All right, we do got another guest, Angel Wood. 15 minutes, talk to us. What are y'all talking about? Oh, these three topics. Do you see it on the screen? Yeah. Yeah, so whichever so one you want to go for. Don't believe in God, or you just feel like... Oh, I'm, a, I'm an agnostic atheist. I don't, I don't believe in a God. I don't know whether or not God exists, but I don't believe in him. Oh. Why do you feel like that? Why am I an atheist? Yeah, why do you feel like that? Okay. Um, and I'm sorry, can you mute yourself real quick? Yeah, it's kind of loud in your background. Time. Okay. The the reason why I am this is this took this took a while for me to become an atheist, but the reason why I am is because um I couldn't reconcile a lot of things in the in the Bible which I couldn't prove were true, and some of it was evidently not true. You know what I'm saying? And now that I had to ask myself and be honest with myself, do I need to be a Christian or believe in God to have morals? The answer is no. Do I need to believe in God or be a Christian to have directional purpose in my life? The answer is no. Do I need to love people and be honorable and be righteous and be a good person? The answer is no. So if I don't need it to, to, to love people, I don't need it to be moral, I don't need it for direction, purpose, or anything else in my life, not only that, I can't reconcile if any of it is true and some of it is evidently extremely not true, can I actually believe it? And for me, the answer was no. So I stopped believing in it. Now, there are people who ask all these questions and still say, I want to believe it, and they do. I have no problem with that. But me, for myself, I have to be honest with myself and ask myself, if I don't need it for these things, and I can't, and I don't know if it's true or not, and some of it is actually not true, can I still believe it? I felt it would be dishonest for me to continue in that. And I know all those answers, the question to all those answers, the answer to all those questions was no. So that's how I became an atheist. And this, this, this took a long time. I know I explained this in like two minutes, but it took a long time. It took me like 10 years to get here. So it wasn't was something simple. Does that answer your question? Yeah, but so basically you, you just don't like really understand the Bible. I understand the Bible. I was, I was raised in church. Uh, what do you think I don't understand? I mean, I, you know, I'm a firm believer, you know, in God. Mm -hmm. And he, he doesn't heal everybody, but he has healed a couple of people that I know that has counseling and stuff. You know, everybody's mm -hmm. story is not the same. You know, he don't write everybody's story the same. So, okay. Um, Psalm one forty five eight says he is the very same God who heals all wounds. So he's not gonna do that for everybody. <laughs> Psalm one, Psalms one forty five eight, the verse says that, or one forty seven three, whichever one. He says uh, that he is the very same God who heals all wounds. So he's not going to do that for everybody? All right. Okay, why not? Everybody's story is not the same. No, I understand that everybody's story is not the same. But if he's not going to do it for um for everybody, why not do it for children? I mean, like, those are questions that I can't really answer because only yeah. God knows why he do the things that he do. We're we're not supposed to question that. Why not? Just not. Let me ask you a question. If President Biden right now were to infect the entire city of Detroit with 
COVID, you sh you don't think that we should ask why did he do that? And and if someone said you're not supposed to question Biden, what would you say about that? But that's that's different. That's How the so? president. Like that's not God. Okay. And what what makes God unquestionable? Because he is the maker. Like we can't like what? Okay, so because he he made us, that yes. means that we can't question. Then our parents make us too. Yes, we can question our parents. Yes, but that's different. Why? Because it is. I mean, it, it can't be just because it, it is. That's 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 circular. That's like you can't it's question not, because though. you can't. It's you know? not. God is the creator. He created all of us. Right. So There's no what, questioning him. Like I don't okay, understand right, why right. you would wanna uh, a, a, Angel, but this is what you said. You said that God is the, the creator. Yes, he and is. And I asked right, right, okay, I got you. God is the creator and we can't question him. And when I asked why, you said because God is the creator. That's a circle. Yeah, you know I mean like it's, that's circular logic. That's I, I you have circular. to break that circle. That's just what, I, just what it is. And well, <laughs> let me um No no a, Angel, let, 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 listen to what I said again. You said God is the creator, so we can't question him. And then I asked, why not? And then you said, because God is the creator. That's yes, circular. exactly. That's that's all I can say. Right, about right. what I'm saying is that that's a circle. That's a circle. That's it's a circle logic. because that's sense. where it is. That's what it is. Right, but what I'm but saying is that... Let me reply to what this person said about children. So... No, no, don't, don't, worry about the, don't, don't worry about the comments. Um, like, let's talk, talk to me. Okay. So, we can't um 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 question God just because we can't. That kind of makes God a tyrant, doesn't it? No. Why not? Because why we can't question tyrants. So why isn't God a tyrant? Why do Why do you think that? Well, you just said he is. We can't question him. He's an unquestionable authority. So that's a tyrant. That's what? An unquestionable authority is how a tyrant works. If we can't question a um um God. That makes him a tyrant. That's, I mean, that's how you feel about it. That's literally a description of a tyrant. Like, I don't know what else to say. That's a description. That's a that's a tyrant. Yeah, you know I mean, and the, and the thing is, like, what doesn't doesn't the Bible says that my my people's um perish through lack of knowledge? So why why wouldn't we question? I mean, here's the thing: when I was a Christian, right, I learned yeah. that salvation is personal. So mm -hmm. if salvation is personal. My salvation and your salvation are not going to be the same. So doesn't that mean that we could question God at that point? Because how am I supposed to know how my um how my salvation is supposed to go if I have no questions? That's a good question, but it's it's different when you question God other than like questioning and trying to understand the Bible. That's different. Okay, I understand that we could question to un un understand the Bible, but. You're saying that we can't question God's moves and and and, and what He does just because we can't. Are, are, are we not supposed to try to understand God? If we try to understand, if we're trying to understand God, how can we not question and understand at the same time? Um. Try. Oh my goodness. God. All I can say about that is God works in mysterious ways. We yeah. don't know. What he's gonna do, when he's gonna do it, we don't know that. Alrighty, cool. So why do you th um? So do you think prayer works? Yeah, prayer works. Why do children suffer without without needing to be suffered? Without needing to do? I I understand how y'all feel about that, but I you know God gave me a child that has disabilities. And I don't mm -hmm. question him on why he gave me that child, because God knows why he's doing stuff, and he knows that I could handle it. Some people can't handle what they go through. Some people can't. That's all I can say about that. Okay, no, that's that's not a, that's he not a problem, man. How far to go? He will never put more on you than you could bear. Um, people self delete all the time. Doesn't that mean that God put more on them than you can bear? Yeah, I was about to say that. People, people commit self-delete. I can't use that the actual word because of TikTok.
but people uh, actually commit self delete all the time. Doesn't that mean that put they more on the like way? they couldn't handle it? Right, they couldn't. Some because... people just plainly give up because they right. want to give up. Right. Doesn't that mean God put more on them than they no, can bear? No, that doesn't. If they no, committed self-delete, how was that not a situation that it was more than? Why would? Get? But are you being serious right now? Right. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Look, listen. This is what I'm saying. Right. Because you said God doesn't give us more than we can bear. He does. However, wait. Hold, listen. Listen. However, people commit self-delete because their situation was more than they can bear. No. Yes. That's not true. Yes, it is. They want to commit a self delete if that wasn't the case. No. Yes. <laughs> Angel, they want to commit a self delete if that wasn't the case. That's not funny. Some people don't know what direction to go because they're confused. They don't really have people to talk to. That's like that's not funny. But that does not mean that God put more on them than they can bear. So why did they commit self delete? Because they decided to do that. God gives everybody free will. You can do what you want to do. Right. Or, and if um, situation exactly. Is more... They chose to delete themselves. Or uh, cool. a better question because... would be, um, or if I could jump in, are you okay? With Go ahead. That? Uh, <clears throat> a better question would be like, with people committing self delete, um, why didn't God reach out in those final moments to help them out of that? Um, it seems as if God kind of just sits and watches all these things happen, and uh, God's lack of action is deafening. He's very silent in the midst of people suffering. Angel, did you hear his question? No, can you repeat that? Oh, yeah. So my question was, um, for all the people that like self-delete, <clears throat> why didn't God reach out in those final moments to give them a hand? Um, for a lot of people suffering, it kind of seems oh, as if God is just standing by and uh, his silence in the midst of suffering is deafening. Why didn't but God just allow people to... And try to send somebody to them? Say it again? How do you know that he didn't try to send help? Well, yeah, so that's the you thing. Can, like, you could, some people you can't help because they don't want to help. Well, yeah, but that's the thing. Christians uh, sometimes say that God sent somebody, right, to come and uh, help somebody, right? But, I mean, that that really is just kind of like an excuse to say, like, God works through people. There's no way to measure God acting through people or, or did God actually send somebody to help somebody. Like, why couldn't God distinctively come down himself and, uh, you know, talk to people who are really going through it, especially people who are even praying to him? I mean, we have children in Africa who pray to God um, for water every single day and they don't get it. <clears throat> um, I'm going to just reply to you saying why couldn't God just come down here himself if God comes down here all of us will be gone right? nobody shall see the face of God until the end of the world there's not even that I um, could... don't understand like okay um, a a angel does God, but do y'all question the devil on why he do the things that he do? I'll uh, I'll I'll answer that in a second. But angel, in the Old Testament, there are plenty of people who saw God. Moses saw him face to face. Jacob saw him face to face. The Israelite elders saw him face to face when it was in the desert. So plenty of people saw saw God face to face. But now it can't happen because we'll all die. I mean, I don't I don't uh I don't understand that. But as far as um um questioning the question of Satan with all he does. The only thing I saw Satan do, which was within the um the Bible, was mess with Job. And he only did that because God told him he could do it. So Jesus was God and he came down do mm -hmm. that makes sense. What? Okay, let's do this. Can you know, are you able to uh to prove Jesus was God? No, I didn't say that. I'm reading the comments. No, no about the comments. Okay. Um, well, let's do this. Can you prove Jesus was God?
Well, actually, you only have one more minute because I got I got to bring somebody else up because it's been fifteen minutes. Do you have any uh um last words, Angel? Uh, all right, cool. Well, it's a pleasure seeing you. All right, please, please follow me for more. You yeah, have a great night. All right, we'll bring up the next guest. All right, we'll give it a second. There it is. Shay, now, now you're up. 15 minutes. Talk to us. What you got? Uh, I don't know. Everything y'all are saying is what you say to people with a simple understanding of God. Um, why he doesn't heal children, sins of the father, you know, things like that. Um, why he doesn't heal amputees? Well, did you put in the work for God to, in order to want to heal you? Jesus went out in the desert for 40 days and 40 nights and was tempted by Satan with no food or water in order to get closer to God, in order to do the miracles that he did in the Bible. See, everybody wants to just pray. Oh, I got on my knees and I prayed. Why isn't God answering my prayers? Well, maybe because you're not doing what he said, or maybe because you're not putting in the work to try to find him. Just getting on your knees and praying doesn't isn't the only thing you got to do. You got to seek a relationship with God. Okay, so so really quick, so all the children in Africa who are praying, the water, maybe they God moved. told them to move and they didn't listen. Move wait, where wait, water wait. was and they didn't listen. Yeah, so but you're was, just like the just like the uh. Shay, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. This is what we're gonna do. All right, um, let it go. Let go ahead. Let Coco finish what he was gonna say. And then you can I know what this is. You're gonna say the same question he asked the last guest. Right, yeah, right, but you gotta let him yeah. finish first. Go ahead. Yeah, Coco. So, so with your response, like, are you basically saying to all those children who are like suffering, suffering in Africa and like need water that they need to work harder? <laughs> that yes. like they're not doing. Hey, drilling a well is common knowledge that you can find on the internet. Okay, okay Shay, you do realize that these children who are enslaved in mines do not no. have access to the internet. Okay, cool. You do not okay. realize they've been they've been making wells in the desert for fucking thousands of years, right? Yes, they have been making okay. wells in the desert for okay. thousands of years. There okay. are people who probably know how to make de um wells, but these children do not. Okay. Yeah, we're talking about impoverished children who are no, poor. Impoverished who children who have never been to school, who don't know how to read, they're not about. gonna know how to make wells. And not only that, they're not they're not the bushmen. Now the San people of Southern Africa. The um the Bushmans, the the one who's split who's speaking click languages, they know how to make wells. They know how to hunt. They'll survive out there. But these children in the Congo who are enslaved in mines have no idea how to do that. You also yeah, yeah. said that God is gonna punish us for the sins of our fathers. Yeah. Deuteronomy twenty four sixteen says, "The fathers shall not be put to to um unaliving for their for the children. Neither shall the children be put to unaliving for their fathers." Every man shall be Deuteronomy put to unaliving is, for his is, own sins. That's thing. laying down the Hebrew law. You know, that's not God talking. That's the Hebrews talking to the Hebrews about Hebrew law. <laughs> like, no, that, you gotta, that yes, is not talking. Yes, it is. I know exactly what Deuteronomy is, and that's exactly what the entire book of Deuteronomy is, is the Hebrews telling the Hebrews what the Hebrew law is. Okay, so so the Hebrew you know, law like, is the different. The Bible what, is great. Hold on, Shay. Hold on, Shay. Hold on, Shay. So you're saying that the Hebrew law is different from what God said? The Hebrews' law is different from what God said. That's what you just said. Yes. Okay, so that's why he, he had to send Jesus. What do you What do you mean? <laughs> hold on, De Deuteronomy wasn't that after? Um, hold on, uh, Genesis, Exodus. Yeah, Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy was after the Exodus, wasn't it? Yes. Okay, so these laws that they were laying down, they came from God. They came from the priesthood of the Hebrews, not not necessarily from God. Okay, so the priesthood didn't get it from God? I don't believe they did. So why did God let this let, um, let, uh, let this happen then? Same reason he let the Hebrews get enslaved. Same reason he let Israel get conquered over and over and over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. And he didn't let it stand. He sent his son to correct the problem. Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I'm, I'm Deuteronomy. Yeah, that's this is Moses talking to the Hebrews. Moses got this from God, bro. Moses got the Ten Commandments from God, and it's not Moses talking to God. It's the priesthood talking to God. No, no, no. no. And in, in this in Deuteronomy, this is Moses speaking. This is Moses speaking to the Israelites. It's not Moses. Moses speaking. got this from God. 
He, he did not. Yeah, yeah, he did. This is Moses yeah, speaking. He, he did not. Look, just like you said, Satan only tempted. The only thing Satan did was tempt Job over God's. Really? So he didn't. Okay, I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm hold, 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 hold on, Shay. I'm. Hold on, Shay. I'm bringing up just the desert. Your knowledge hold on, Shay. Hold, 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 on, Shay hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Shay. Hold on, Shay. Hold on, Shay. I'm bringing up Justin okay. because he's an actual biblical scholar, and then he can he, he can speak it. Go ahead, Justin. Yeah, sorry for kind of getting into the conversation late. I apologize if I missed the beginning of it, but no what I heard was that God only gave the Ten Commandments. Did I hear that right? Oh yeah, He gave it to him on the mount. What about the Levitical laws? Hey man, if you want to follow Levitical laws, that's up to you, bro. Go ahead. No, don't I mean, sport, don't wear cotton and uh, you know, don't be gay. No, 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 no. I, I'm asking you, do you believe that God gave those laws? No, I don't. But I also don't okay. believe the Bible is the There's so. So in Leviticus 4, where it says that the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, speak mm -hmm. to the Israelites and tell them, and he gives a bunch of laws to them, that's not mm -hmm. God speaking? No. Who is speaking? Mean, you know, I don't know. You tell me, biblical scholar. I don't know. I'm telling the you. The Bible I, literally says that's God speaking, my guy. I just told you I don't care what the Bible says. <laughs> like, I'm not, I don't believe that the Bible is the divine word of God and it's an historical history book. It's just a book. Oh, sounds like okay. we agree then. So, but are you a Christian? Yes, very much so. Very okay. much of a relationship with so, God. Okay, so what what's the what's the source of your faith if it's not the Bible? God himself. God himself. Okay, so if the Bible didn't exist, would you still be a Christian? Yes. Okay. So how did God reveal Christianity to you? In a jail cell. Can you can you tell me more? <laughs> Through a dream, I guess you could say maybe. Go with okay. that. Okay, so so God communicated to you through a dream. Is that fair to say? Yeah, fair to say. Okay, uh, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Um, I have a number of friends. Um, we haven't talked in a little while, but they're Hindu, and mm -hmm. I asked them because you don't meet very many Hindus that are like really into their faith. But they were. I worked with them, awesome. and I asked them how how it came to be that they were so committed to the, the cultural identity and they had at least one of them had a vision and another one had a dream and another one had a healing mm -hmm. so i guess my question is how do you if, know your dream came from god well, well no not just that i'm just saying it, whether it's a dream or it's uh some sort of a healing or some sort of i'm just saying that there's these types of subjective experiences i i, I would only ask what how do you know I, from God? Yeah, that's no, what you want to ask. You just don't I'm, want to say it. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm trying to word the question correctly. Okay, so for an outside observer, which is me, how would I know that what you're telling me is true, but what they're telling me is not true? You wouldn't. There okay. is no way for you to know what's true and what's not true without your own personal experience. You would okay. have to determine what's true in your own soul. I can I can only tell you my experiences. Do you believe that my Hindu friends actually met Vishnu? Hmm. Possibly. Possibly. It could be a possibility. That's, that's a fair answer. I'm okay with that. That's a fair, honest answer. Yes, that's that, that. Um, um, that's pretty fair. But um, what I'm struggling with, uh, Shay, is something that you said um before earlier, where you said that these children suffer needlessly because they're not listening to God. But you, you just what said, do you, why do you say they're suffering needlessly? Why do you because, why why do you think that their suffering doesn't have a massive goal behind it? How what? do you know these children that hold are on, suffering hold on, hold on. Shay, 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 are going to start a question. revolution? Let me ask you a question. Congo. Shay, let me ask you a question. You yourself, let me ask you a question. Slavery has no grand point to it. There's no point in someone being a slave. Being touched by P3DOs has no grand purpose to it. Having cancer, being born with cancer has no grand point to it. None of these have a grand sure? purpose. 
You sure? Yes. What is the point of slavery? To build whatever you need to build. I mean, no, no, no. Me being enslaved. What is the point uh -huh. of us? Could be to learn a lesson. Could be because you fell away from your faith with God. What lesson do I need to learn? What what lesson does a five year old need to learn to be enslaved? Hmm. I don't know. I don't exactly. know. Exactly. There is no lesson there. What lesson do, you don't, you don't know. I didn't say what that. Lesson, I didn't say that. Say, 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 I didn't say, say there was no lesson. Say, I just lesson, said I don't say. know what it is. What what lesson? What lesson does a five year old need to learn by, by, by being touched by a P three video? What lesson is there? I don't know. I don't know. Exactly. I there said, I don't know. It doesn't mean that there's not a lesson to be learned. Maybe he learns that, I don't know, that all the men in that part of the country are evil and need to have their dicks cut off. I don't know what he learns from it. I he, don't know. He could, he could, that person could learn. Hey, I'll put it to you this way, bro. Through suffering comes great, great people who have came through suffering. What's the dude, the physicist that can't, that is in the wheelchair? What's his name? Um, Stephen, Stephen Hawking. Hawking. Stephen Hawking. There we go. Dude is a genius. Absolute positive genius. How do we know we would have got anything from him and all his physics and everything that we learned from him? How do you know we would have learned anything without his suffering of his de debilitating disease that he had? But his but his his genius didn't exactly, come from his disease. Exactly. Through suffering, great things Shay, can Shay, come. Boy, Shay, Shay, let me ask you a question. He was already a genius before he he got the same disease. He was yeah, already, he was, a, he was like a nineteen year old. Hold on, he was like a nineteen year old kid getting a doctorate. Mm -hmm. He was already a genius. Yeah, yeah. All right, so the disease had nothing to do with it. How do you know the disease didn't keep him on focus, on focused on physics? Say he would have been perfectly. Because he fine. was a nineteen year old getting a PhD. That's how we. Yeah, know. well, I mean, there's there's a lot of nineteen year olds that get PhDs, bro. Exactly. They don't do, they don't do shit with them. They, they get hooked on crack cocaine and don't now do anything you know you can't. for the rest now of their life. You can't. Now you know oh. you can't, bro. You know you can't. Yeah, Ain't no 19 year old out here getting on cocaine, bro. You know, you, now you know you can't. Did you say there's no 19 year old getting on cocaine? My bad. There, I'm, I'm sorry. Let, okay. let me clear myself up. 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 There is no 19 year old earning a PhD who's a genius getting hooked on cocaine. That ain't happening. Maybe not enough. How do you know that? I, I can almost guarantee you there are. <sighs> okay, okay. Let's let um, um let, let's do this because you say that you think um through suffering we learn things, right? Oh yes, let me tell you a story. Let, let, me tell you a story. let me tell you. Let me tell you a story, right? I once met a Holocaust survivor. I once met a Holocaust survivor, right? Okay. He told me about all the horrible. Well, he, he was telling a story about all the horrible things he he went through, all the horrible things he's seen. Right, uh -huh. I went up to him to shake his hand. He told me that he does not touch blackies. Did Dang his it. suffering teach him anything? That would have been a question to ask him. Right, but, but <laughs> my point is, my point is, just because someone suffers does not mean they're going to become a better person. No, suffering does not make make you a better person. But, no, 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 it doesn't necessarily make you a better person. But many, many great people have gone through suffering in order to achieve great things, like 90% of the NFL. Great suffering, now they play in the NFL. I, mean, I won't call practicing and getting stronger suffering, bro. That's, would, you that's call, kind of would you call growing up not knowing where your next meal is coming from, not knowing if your stepfather is going to come in your room at night, suffering? Definitely. Okay, well, there's quite a few people in the NFL that have been through that situation. And there's quite a few people in the NFL that went to Stanford. Probably like four. Yeah, Richard Sherman is, is one I could come, come on, cut off my head. Yeah, yeah Richard Sherman and house, Andrew Luck and, and NFL. Uh, MC, or CMC, Christian McCaffrey. Exactly. Yeah. Never, never so suffered like... there in the NFL. Same thing with Jalen Green. Never suffered, he's in the NBA. Okay. Right, exactly. So you don't have to suffer in order to, to learn no, anything. No, you we don't. We got one minute left. We got you, one minute left. What you, what you got left for, Shay? Because we got one minute left. Oh, well, well nothing then. I, I say what I need to say. All right, cool. Thanks for coming up. We'll, we'll see you later. All right, we got Justin with us. Justin, I didn't expect you to be here. I'm sorry I kind of took over that conversation, bro.
Oh no! So listen, I'm just I'm just here chilling. I've kind of been uh, hanging out tonight with some friends, so I'm glad that I caught you online while you're online. Yeah, man, man, man. I, and uh, and I appreciate I do appreciate the follow because I've been following your your work for I think probably like a like a month or two when I when I saw you, man. You, you do some some incredible stuff. I've been looking up what you uh, suggested to me as well, the Old Testament um, dictionary and um, Josh Bowen's book. I'm gonna oh, buy yeah. that. Yeah, Josh Bowen's pretty good. Um he also I don't think he has a book on it yet, but I think he might be working on a book. But he's got one of the best um like layman's commentary on the book of Daniel. Like mm -hmm. if you want something that's not written for scholars but is very understandable, Josh mm -hmm. Bowen's got it has got great resources for that because th there's kind of like um it's like an open secret in academia. That the book right. of Daniel was written at least um, 400 years after Daniel actually lived. Everybody knows it, and everybody knows why, but nobody talks about it. Um, Josh Bowen does a really good job of, of demonstrating why it is such a um, such an open secret in in seminaries and Bible colleges, um, and it's baffling to me that all, you've never heard a pastor from the pulpit say anything about Daniel unless they're trying to convince you that Jesus somehow fulfilled the prophecy of Daniel chapter 9 mm -hmm. and then they ignore the whole rest of the book but um, anyways I always say that to say this Josh Bowen's a good resource if you want to get into the book of Daniel oh yeah most definitely most definitely you know um, I actually, actually never knew that I learned that actually by watching your live that the book of Daniel was written I think you said like hundreds of years later right yeah, so the majority of the book is written in the middle of the second century, just before the fall of the Greeks under Antiochus Epiphanes, so about 165, 164 BCE. And um, we we really know this for a lot of reasons, because two things are true. The author does not know what's happening at the time of actual Daniel. So when it talks about people from the time of Daniel, it gets all the details wrong. Doesn't know who the king is. Doesn't know who the king's families are. Doesn't know. Doesn't get the dates right. Uh, but he knows everything about what's happening in the middle of the second century, down to what king is is it, whose wife is cheating on what king and whatnot. I mean, mm -hmm. really, really detailed accounts of things that are happening in the middle of the second century. And if you if you take the prophecy from Daniel chapter nine and eleven. Well, those prophecies come to be fulfilled in the middle of the second century. So the prophet was writing, or the writer, I don't want to call him a prophet, he was writing about stuff that was happening in his own time period. Mm -hmm. And then he makes predictions for the future. This is what's going to happen finally. And then those predictions fall short at about 163, 162 BCE. Uh, the other thing, too, is the language that we have. Uh, is written in a form of Hebrew that did not exist until after the fall of the Greeks. Mm -hmm. So we know Hebrew's old, right? But there are different formats of Hebrew. Like you know the difference between modern English and Elizabethan Elizabethan English, right? Because you, you're an English speaker, right? Right, right. Well, in Hebrew, you can tell the difference between Hasmonean Hebrew versus ancient Biblical Hebrew or Aramaic Hebrew. And you can even see the difference between like Mishnaic Hebrew. So like, I don't know if you like heard a while back, there was a guy that claimed he went to the Vatican and he discovered uh, a secret hidden manuscript that was mm -hmm. a Hebrew version of the Gospel of Matthew. Mm -hmm. And then he, he really, he wrote, he wrote uh, articles on it and all kind of tried to sell people books on it. Well, I, I was curious. I was like, I'd like to see this thing. Well, I downloaded a sample of one of his published photographs and it was written in a form of hebrew that didn't exist until 500 years after jesus so like this is, <laughs> this is not a, it's not an ancient hebrew manuscript what are you doing <laughs> so it, but, it wasn't even the the uh, the language that jesus was spoke to that's <laughs> no not, not at all man <laughs> you're a recon why are you over here recon because it's, it's not it's not my night to be live, geek. I, I'm just hanging out tonight. I'm having I'm having a good, a <laughs> yo, good time yo, with friends. Geek, I was I was on I was on Justin's last live, and I was and I was watching it. I, I always have that question. 
Who is Recon? Why did you say that? Recon. <laughs> Recon is this is this guy on this on on the panel. So why did you call him Recon? I I give you the backdrop. So real real geek thinks that uh, that he is my guardian angel and God has sent him to take me from deconstruction to reconstruction. <laughs> yeah, recon re, recon is definitely getting reconstructed. So I'm sorry for all recon followers. You know, I mean him getting reconstructed should honestly change you guys as well. But honestly, I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think it's going to happen, but listen, Geek, I always enjoy talking to you. I know my audience doesn't enjoy it so much, but I enjoy it. I know, Recon. I know you enjoy it because, you, you see, you already enjoying our conversation is already, you already messed up, you know. You already liking our conversation is already a sign that it, it, it's going downhill for you. You know that, Recon. But actually, i tell you why. i tell you why. <laughs> this is so it's hilarious. What, what... <laughs> When you are, when you and I are having a conversation, like we're just having a good time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you've never attacked me personally. I'm I'm never going to attack you personally, even if we never yeah. agree. Like we, we can just have a good time having a conversation, and that's what drives me crazy about going live. Is a lot of times it turns into personal attacks and name calling, and you know, you know how things go. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't like that either. All right, so. Geek, what you think of the questions? Why doesn't oh my gosh? No, why not? Why doesn't God have MTs? Why doesn't God heal MTs? Yeah, sure. What do you mean by that? Like, I mean, uh, like... let's say someone gets into an accident or they they go to war, and let's say lose an arm, unfortunately, in in, in the war. Uh, why doesn't it, like when they pray for it back, it, it doesn't it doesn't grow back or slowly grow back? And I was saying instantaneously, like a lizard or something like that. But why doesn't like that heal itself, like grow back? So you 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 think like God is just a genie? Like you think, oh, I lose my hand, oh, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask God for another hand, and another hand is just gonna appear? Like you do you think just I don't think that's how it works. Why not? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know, like, it's not, like, I don't know, but, like, at the, at the same time, like, I don't expect him, I don't expect him to, you know, just re-up, like, just give me another hand either, because I'm, I, I, I'm the one that caused that, that arm to go away, so, you know. What if you were just born without it? I mean, if you're born without it, you're you're just born without it. Okay, cool. So why does it? Um, why why? But so, so why why then why why be born without hands or arms? I mean, <laughs> why, why are you asking me? How am I supposed to know why 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 should I be? I'm on the live. You came on the live. All right, sure. No, I'm busy. I'll, I'll get you on into you in a second. All right, so geek, what about the second question? Why doesn't God cure cancer on a consistent basis? Consistent basis. I, have, so, I have a question. Do you do you think like God owes us something? Like, yeah, all these questions are like, bro. Yes, yes, he, he does. Oh, oh, something he happened in my something happened in my life. I I automatically God automatically has to heal this for me, or else. Like, do you do you think that's just how it works? No, I don't say or else. I'm I'm asking why not? Or not because, or else because at the end. Because hold, hold on, geek. Because at the end of the day, there are people, there are Christians. I'm not sure if you're one of them, but there are people who claim that God cured Granny's cancer, and there are tons of claims of God curing cancer. The thing is, this doesn't happen on a consistent basis, and it almost never happens for the children at St. Jude's Hospital. So why not? I'm you not saying I'm old. Why. I'm going with the logic that Christians put out there. You you gotta understand that God can do whatever He wants. If He chooses to heal this amount of people and doesn't choose to to heal this amount of people, there's nothing you can do with it. All you can do is just be thankful that you got healed. Like, like you, you need to understand that. It's, it's just because someone has cancer and other people have cancer, and and you're praying to God and asking God, "Oh God, heal me." It it it, it comes. It's either it's up to God whether to heal them or not. It's not. It's not he has to do it. 
You get okay, that? cool. But I, yeah, I, I get that. I'm not saying that God has to to um to to do anything. But if that's the case, what's what's the what's the point of picking and choosing and making it so inconsistent? Why not just do it for children? There's there's no inconsistency. You don't know why God is choosing to do that, so you can't call it inconsistent. You don't know who who God is choosing to heal and who He's choosing not to heal. There's no right. inconsistency in nothing. No, no, that 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 is inconsistent because if my neighbor Johnny prayed for his granny to be cured of cancer and and, and the, he got cured, and I prayed for my godmother, I had two godmothers who had who had brain cancer when I was twelve. Both of them passed away within a year of each other. We prayed, we fasted, we did everything we um we could. Both of them passed away within a year of each other. So why did God cure um Johnny's granny, but He didn't cure my godmother? There's a reason for it. Yeah, there's a reason my, my, for everything. My, my godmothers, my godmothers were like faithful, praying Christians and and everything. Like so, there was no doubt that they had faith. No doubt. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter or not. Like you, you think you think God is just gonna heal people that are Christian. God heals people that are not Christian. Like God, God doesn't pick and choose who He wants to heal. Like you need to understand that too. You think just because you're wait, Christian, wait, yes. God is gonna yeah, pick yeah, oh because yeah, he's Christian. You just he said he does. That's he exactly does. what he does. I didn't say that. Chooses. I did not say that. When did Hold I say on, that then, he picks and choose? He does not then, pick and then, choose. Then, 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 then you say that we don't know who God, why God picks some people to get healed and why not. So that means automatically he's picking and choosing who he heals. Because he's not healing everybody. He's healing selected. I just people. said, I just, I just said he picks, he picks who he wants to heal and who he doesn't want to heal. I'm, yeah, you're yeah, trying to say that. I'm trying to say that because I was trying to say because you think oh because. Your grandmother and your grand whatever were Christian, think just so God picks and chooses who he's going to heal. Okay, so what what about the what about the last one? You, you, do you think prayer works? Oh, sorry, you talking to me? Oh no, I saw I saw on the geek, but I, um, I guess ah oh, crap, someone to my left. Hey, yeah, whoever left, you you, you come back up. Uh, but all right, Geek, we'll, we'll get back to you. I do want to get to well, Geek left too. All right, I want to go ahead and get um uh, get back on topic. We're gonna talk to nobody first, then Rob, and then I think your name is John Poppy. All right, so nobody, talk to us. Yeah, pray, prayer does not work whatsoever. There's there's it, the research they've done. It's I think it's called like prayer anxiety, where they try to figure out the success rate of prayers. And it works pretty much at chance. And, you know, believers typically say, oh, it's because I'm nervous. It's because I'm being put on the spot or because you're testing God. But regardless, you know, if somebody prays and something happens in their favor, they always give credit to God. And if it doesn't happen, they say, oh, it's not according to God's plan. So it, it's a lose-lose situation for anybody who's trying to, you know, show the, the faults or the, um, the lack of reliability in prayer. So it's just something you cannot win with people who have, no. who are devoted to the faith. Oh. Gotcha. All right, hold on, nobody, because um, it seems like we're going to be more in accordance with each other. I think Lucifer is going to be in accordance with us, too, but I don't want to dogpile any Christian who's who's on here, so we're going to let them go one by one. John Poppy, you hear me? I hear you. Uh, you a believer? I'm not a believer. Okay, one, one second, one second, okay, one second. I'm, I'm going to let you go. Uh, Great Stone, how about you? Are you a believer? Yeah, I believe in God. Okay, cool. All right, so we got two. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and sit back because Coco's been up here, deconstruction's been up here for a while, and Lucifer's been up here for a while. I'm gonna go ahead and sit back and let you guys go ahead and and, and go at it. We're gonna go with John Poppy first. Um, go ahead and, and lay out your your case of these three questions. We'll go with Great Stone next, and then we'll mix it with everybody else. Yeah, cool with that. All right, cool, awesome. All right, so uh, John Poppy, go ahead and go first. Uh. The three answers, if you can't see them, let me know. Let's go start with the first one. Damn, what happened? All right, so great. Uh, it's on you. All right. Uh, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, since I'm back, you lost your turn. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no problem. We'll, we'll, we'll circle back to you, Geek. Um, but, uh, 
No, we, like, no, I, we're, like I was hold on, saying, hold on, like, get, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna circle back to you, okay? We'll back no, to you. it's not no, fair. I, I promise. I promise. We'll circle back to you. I promise. I promise. <laughs> All right. All right so back. great, uh, great stone. Go ahead and uh, let me let me know your take on the three uh, topics we got. Uh, I mean, you can go ahead and let real go. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah sir. All right, go ahead. That's love right there. He, he seems he seems more excited than I do. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm more excited. I'm not gonna lie, it's because I, I don't I don't like when people even think they know about like God. Like you you don't know nothing about God and what He's doing. So how are you how are you to say why doesn't God heal? Like, like you don't know what God's doing. You don't even know if God is healing him or not. You don't know. You don't you don't know if if it's it's a better situation that his yeah. arm is like this rather than not. Do you get that? Wow. But to be true, like I don't think you really know God either. I don't think I any. A hundred percent, I don't. Like. Well, well, yeah. So, like, the thing is, like, I, I don't think Christians. But you don't are, either. That's the thing. Yeah, the thing yeah, is, you so, don't. You don't know. The thing is, well, yeah, I so know I don't know God. So let me finish my sentence really quick. Um, I don't think Christians or atheists really know God, and. Um, if I'm looking around the world and seeing all this injustice happening and reading through the Bible, um, for me, the case is made that God's fruits aren't really showing a good and loving God. So that's the case I got to make. So Wait, like, you say? say that again, you know, because so of the world. So, um, so, so, so I don't think Christians or atheists know God or know God's intentions. So I don't really think that matters. And as we're going through the world and seeing all the suffering and the bad things that are happening and people who are born with missing limbs and God not really helping people who are praying to him. Um, and we read through the Bible. I mean, how do you know God is not helping the people that are praying to him? How do you know well, that? Well, I mean, we still see children um, suffering in Africa. They don't have water, right? Like, there, there are literally so, children. So, so because people are them. suffering... In the middle of my sentence. No, 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 no. I, I have to stop you there because it's absurd. Oh, no, because, but I have more to because say. Because you think so, people are suffering so, in Africa. You think that's God's fault? Is that what you think? Well, God's not stepping in to do anything. So he's just sitting up there watching. Do you do you know why people are suffering in Africa? Because I think you do. I, well, I think you know why. Why would you, why would you say person, that the people are suffering I, in Africa? I, 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 think, I think we're smart enough to know why Africans are suffering in okay, Africa. Explain it to me. Please enlighten all of us why Africans are suffering. Oh, God. Oh. I'm curious, actually. You can't, you can't be for real. No, I'm but curious. No, no, I, 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 I do have an answer for why I think. Oh, no, I know you African have an answer because I, I, I think, I, I think, like I can just Please tell, tell you us why, why Africans, Africans are suffering. But, but so as someone, as out. someone, as another black person, I can't believe you actually do not know why. That no, 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 um, no, no, no. Like geek, we just want to know if we're on the same mindset. Like, cause see if you agree with this. Why do you think Africa is the way that it is? I think Africa is the way that it is because of evil in this world and with the evil, with the slaves and all that stuff, I think, you know, the people of the white descent did a lot of bad things to black people. Through yeah, the so, evilness. Okay, cool. Oh, okay, yep. so we're on the same page. We're actually on the same yeah, page. Yeah, we're definitely so, on the same page. Yeah, slavery and colonialism. Slavery and yeah, colonialism so, are, are the reason. Okay, we're on the same mm -hmm. page. Got you. Yo, here's the thing I think where Coco is going to come from. The people who imposed slavery and colonialism, they also bought a certain book to Africa, right? A book. Mm. And, and yeah, and and, and with bad. the and with the book that they brought with them, do you think they were um, do you think they were agreeing with the book? Do you think what what was the book was saying and what they were doing came into agreement? Do you think sure. that? Yeah. <sighs> but I, uh, I mean. That? But he, but even besides that point, right? No, no, like, no. What, you, what like, do you mean? Even besides that, we, we be, be, because I, because I, I'm trying to, to make a different know, point. Make it like, correlate I, so we. Hold, hold on, get, 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 hold, hold on, hold, Wait, hold on. on. Like, let me finish the sentence. This slide. Yeah, exactly. Like, let's go one at a time. Coco's gonna go. We haven't gotten to Great Stone yet, and I'm pretty sure Lucifer and nobody wants to jump in. But let's go ahead and go go with Coco first, and then we'll we'll give everybody else a chance. Okay, Coco, go ahead. Yeah, so like if you go to Africa right now, you have children who are starving from water. You have children who are who are unaliving due to like a virus called the onchocerciasis virus that's spread around by black flies. Um, where literally the only purpose for that existing in our world is to like blind children, right? And so like I'm asking you, like there's this suffering going on in Africa from disease, from mm -hmm. poverty, from uh, sickness and lack of water. I'm asking you, like. Um, why is this happening when God exists and he's kind of just watching this happen? And then you're saying like, 
oh, um, it's their fault. And I, and then we ask you, like, why is it their fault? And you start telling us that, like, they got colonized by Europeans. So, so like, are the, are the Africans that are in Africa suffering because European white men decided to conquer them and somehow they get punished for being conquered? Like, what argument are you making here? I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of sad. A hundred percent. Let I'm, me ask, you, let me ask you a simple question here. Do you think, no, because this is like honestly kind of sad. No, but like honestly, like think... straightforward, tell me what Africans did to deserve to starve in Africa exactly. and not have water in Africa. That, that's what that's we asked you and you started mentioning the, Europeans. That's the sad thing. That's the sad part. Tell me what Africans did to deserve this. That That is definitely what sad. What Africans we did are... to deserve basic human requirements for a living, like water, so it, they don't deserve water? You have to earn water? It, it's, it's, See, this, drinking is, water? this is, is why this is about? why the government corrupted like this is this is why it's corrupted let me ask you something do you think if everybody in this world not even everybody do you think america if america decided to help africa it would it, the, the whole african population would like not seize like thank you hanji like do you think if the government everybody in this world was like oh let's go help africa do you think the, it would the, the problem would get resolved yes or no just a simple question like that yes or yeah no? yes right yeah, yeah. So, if so, we went to africa and we educated people on how to build things and gave them water and infrastructure it, build exactly, schools and help them out exactly like you don't just give them a exactly. fish you so have why to don't teach we do them that why why don't we do that let me ask you that why 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 are we not doing that thank yes. you Phoenix. why so, are so we just, we're... why are we just watching them suffer let me ask oh sorry you. do you want to go volsi um i could go i could take this one uh yeah I'm 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 gonna let you go I'm I'm answering in a little bit oh Jayla wants to come up who uh you you might be in trouble here geek because I already know Jayla got, got a lot to say but I there's, do want to get to I'm uh, coming up because I want to respond to him I got you I got you I do want I do want to get to nobody as well because nobody has I'm dropping I'm gonna come back because it's not no sound because if okay, you're gonna you, try you. and blame the Africa's Africa's oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, situation hold on, hold on, hold on, on God that's absolutely insane to me like, wait hold on hold on geek hold on geek hold on geek this is what I would say. The reason why um, people aren't doing what um, what should happen is because, honestly, I want the West and Europe to actually leave Africa alone because every single time they interfere or do something, it only makes things worse. They prop up people and put people in power who are corrupt and not going to do anything for the people every mm -hmm. single time. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So what, what, what the West needs to do, not just Africa, but Haiti, where my people are from, the reason why Haiti is the way it is is because of U.S., France, and Canada interfering all mm -hmm. the time. The mm -hmm. moment that they leave countries alone, the moment that um the Western powers leave countries alone, mm -hmm. they thrive. Look at Botswana. 100%. Look at Bahamas. Hold on. Look at Seychelles. All these countries, the Western powers left them alone, and they all thrive. You see what I'm saying? So that's what they need to do. But I do want to get to nobody in Great Stone because nobody's been here for a sec for a while. And Greystone's been here for a while, and I know right. Jalen wants to come back up. So you right, guys so pause for just one second, okay? Just pause for one second. Okay. Nobody, go ahead. I kind of just got lost of what the point of the argument was because I thought it was somebody argued that, you know, why is there stuff going on and why doesn't God intervene? And then somehow we got into the talk about how humans are uh, encouraging slavery or something. I'm, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm missing the point that we're, we're getting at. How does this involve God? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, we, we did got, kind of got off the point. No, yeah, I'm not gonna okay. lie. We did not get off the point. It's still we're on topic here. It's it's humans that is the reason why it's like this. It's not God. That that we're still on topic here. Okay. Okay. So the question, the question is, 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 I'm sorry, nobody. Go ahead. Oh, so let me ask, ask a question. So whenever you know doctors perform surgeries and life saving operations, what, how do you distinguish whether it's the human helping or it's God helping? I wouldn't be able to know. Right. So why do you give any credit to God at all? Because without God, you know, without God, that, that human wouldn't even be able to, without that person being alive, that human wouldn't be able to help. If you, well, you want to, if you want to get it as simple, if you want to get it as simple as that, like if you want to get it as simple as that. Then. Okay. So how, how do you know anything about God? Like what's your source that you, you know, all these things about God? That's my source. Yeah. Um, honestly, I say the Bible. That's my the source. Bible? Okay. Yeah. Do you know who wrote the Bible? Many, like many people. Which people? So do I have to like 
like you know like man like well, yeah, I mean, I'm not, if you want me to be honest with you like i don't really know all the people so well like, i mean yeah. you're basing your entire belief system about what controls the universe and who who guides you know you're, you're saying there's a god and you're saying you don't even know who wrote the bible do you know if it's a first-hand account no, I don't. Like, if you if you want to like do this like smart thing, like, buddy, I don't know. Like, the author is nothing. Like, I don't know. Well, nothing. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to do a dumb thing. I want to be smart. <laughs> okay, okay, but like, it, you need to understand the, the the relevancy here. The, if, if 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 you're gonna act like this and you're gonna talk like this, then what's the point of arguing with God right now as we speak? If you don't even believe in it, like, it, it gets back to that. There's no point if you're gonna talk like that and just be like, oh. Yeah, Oh my saying God is, is not a reliable source or anything, then there's absolutely no reason why this host right now here is talking about why does God heal amputees? Like if you really want to get like that. Like it's just that simple, buddy. Oh well, hold on, because let me ask a question. So host, are you are you a believer? No, I'm not. Okay, so there you go. So he's asking a rhetorical question that if there is a God, why doesn't he intervene and do these things? And you're basically saying nobody knows why, but you also believe in a God that you can't prove. So that, that's where I'm trying to get at. Good God. So, oh my gosh, see, I hate I hate the people like you that try and act smart here. So like, I'm not, I'm not acting. What smart. you mean by that, bro? Like, I don't understand what you mean. By that. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't, I don't, like, I don't, have I don't like that. Like honestly, I, I I really don't like that. I don't really liking. I don't like how I have to prove to someone that God exists. Cause no, hold on. With, with my, with, yeah, so with my argument, I, I'm not really I'm not really strong. I'm not really strong on. I can tell. I, oh, of course, hundred percent. I'm not strong with proving God exists. Like that's not my my real specialties. I'm strong. I'm, good at, at it. I'm strong at people thinking that they know. Like, I, no, I'm strong at people blaming God, the the God that they don't even believe in. Oh my God! Let me just. What they're like, doing is borrowing that's, your world. That's even. View that's even more. Themselves. That's even more. I'm so hungry. They're blaming, I'm so hungry they're, for this. They're blaming the God that they don't believe Hold in. That, that, but that's I'm, actually, I'm really hungry. I agree with this. One, one at a time. Once everybody pause. Everybody pause. Everybody pause. Everybody pause. If you ask me, blaming somebody. You don't hear him talking. Pause, geek. Pause, geek. Before I drop you. Pause. Okay. My bad. We're gonna go. Hey, pause. We're gonna go one at a time. One at a time. We got a new person, Greg. I think he's a believer. I'm not sure. But I know Jayla wants to, to respond, and I haven't gotten to Lucifer yet. Okay, so... Oh, me too. Put me in the line. Me too. You. I'm hungry. Yeah, I, I, I got you. I got you. Ooh, Jayla got a call. Oh, no. Jayla, Jayla, no, I didn't. So okay, this is my thing. You're ahead, sitting here asking us, why would we be arguing about a God that we don't think exists? But that's your whole reason for being here, is to argue that he does. So if you don't care that much to try to convince us, then why are you here? But the thing is, you, no, no, you no, no, know, no. You Why know, are you here? You Just know, answer that. You know damn well, no matter how no, much no, no, no. It. Just answer the question, geek. I'm answering Why your question. Why are you here if you also don't care? Just answer it flat out. Whoa, Why whoa, are you whoa. here? I don't know. I'm here to answer the question. You know, the question here doesn't say anything about me trying to convince people about God. But you just made the statement that if we don't care. Why are we having this conversation with you? But you no, just no, said no, no, that, no. that 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 is definitely not the thing. It was a different. It was a. It was we don't believe said. in God, so we're asking you hypothetically from your world viewpoint, if your God exists, why hasn't He done anything? And so that's a pretty valid question. And, and then and you go, if y'all don't believe in God, the conversation is pretty much pointless. You came up in but here if you thinking think it's that pointless. Hey, hey, geek, 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 do not interrupt. Do not interrupt. No, because Jayla thinks she knows interrupt. it all. That's not how. That's not how. I don't think I know it all. Went. You think I'm knowledgeable, and you're saying I know Nobody it all. I never asked. said that. No, no, no. Nobody asked. You acknowledge that question. I'm knowledgeable, but I'm not saying I know it all. What I'm saying is, how are you up here defending something to people that don't believe if you think it's a pointless conversation? What nobody said. When yeah, nobody, I got real quiet. Nobody was, what nobody was questioning me about was nobody was said. See, the word nobody even. Like, time. It, it, it makes time. me confused. My fault, my fault. Let me take my time. Nobody asked me a question about something else unrelated to the topic. And then I, I just said something that, that just clears the whole thing about it. So when I, when, when the host asked me this question, why doesn't God heal amputees? When you ask something like that, you already have to have it in your head that God is like the ruler of this world. You can't ask something like this and think and still not believe it. That it doesn't make any sense. No, um, yes, geek, we can do you that. You believe it. I'm begging to go. Like it's your world <laughs> viewpoint. People do believe it, so we can ask that. 
Oh my and God. when we're asking it, we're not, not blaming God not, because we think it's impossible to be healed from being an amputee. We true. know why. Because you can't just grow a limb back, right? But oh. you, these people are praying to a God and that God has not given them the arm back. So why isn't and, he doing and, that? And, because and, and in the Bible, question, and then my we question see is direct, here is who Hold do on. you think my in question Bible, is who do you think hey, 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 geek, hey geek hey geek hey geek hey geek like i said one at a time please. okay my fault my fault my fault you know in right. the bible we see yes, direct interaction exciting. between yeah. people and god in in a lot of instances where people are having legions people's body parts are falling off and he's healing them he's telling people get up you can walk and they're paralyzed but mm -hmm. in the current day people are praying to this same god and he's not doing anything Hold on. Hold on. And, and like I said, it's like, hold on, hold on, hold on. You are to know, like, to know what God is doing. That, that, that's my question here. Like, who do you think you are Get to, on know, to know, to know, to, to question who God chooses to heal or who, who chooses not to hear or, or who? Hey, hey, geek, hey, geek, let me ask you a question. Let me get, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question because you just asked, hold on, geek, you, because you, you, you just asked. Um, who are we to know what, what, what God does? There's never mm -hmm. been a news article of someone growing a limb back. That's never happened. So we know it's not happening. So hold sure on, that's like saying that. prior to antibiotics, that. you couldn't be healed. That's, I'm I mean, sorry, Greg, say that one more time, Greg. the context of saying, because it's not happening right now, it can't happen. That's no, a ridiculous no, no, concept. No, no, we're not saying because it didn't happen right now, because I mean, it can happen. All we're of the that things that all of you Greg, believe. Hold on, Greg, hold on, I'm answering you, Greg. I'm answering you, Greg. Greg, I'm answering you. We're not saying because it doesn't happen right at this moment right now, that means it can never happen. We're saying that this thing of people praying and growing limbs back has never happened at all. But you can't say that. Yeah, we because can. Because you don't know that. Yeah, we because do. All of, listen to this statement. This back. will make perfect sense to you. All of the things that you think you know can always be confounded by the things you don't know. Of course. So if there is a God and a God is a perfect person, they mm -hmm. would have a perfect understanding of nature. Mm -hmm. Just like we have a better understanding of nature now and can manipulate nature a way we could not in the past. Great. So, Greg, so do you have a news that, article? Hold on, Greg. Never oh, Greg. So, Greg. So, Greg. 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 Be quiet. Greg. Be quiet. Greg. There are billions of things. You Greg. Be quiet. Greg. Be quiet. You know, if you do that again, I'm gonna drop you. When I say be quiet, be quiet. Can you tell? Okay. Can you tell me? Can you give me an article that a person grew their limbs back? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just move them. Okay, Coco wants to go. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry with, all... even, with, even with that question, though. Okay, like, let me cook. Sorry. It's time for me to get in the kitchen. Hey, get, let, 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 anyway. Let, what if, what if you... No kidding. Yeah. Um, or, sorry. Uh, uh, I'll go. Um, no, so here's my thing. The atheist view... You're, at, you're saying that, like, how can we even say, like, why isn't God doing this? Why isn't God doing this? Um, and we're atheists. That means that we believe in it. No, that's a terrible take. When atheists are critiquing God and asking, why doesn't God do this? Or why does God do things this, this way? What we have to do when we're having these discussions is we have to do an, an internal critique. So we have to step Thank into the worldview and we have to accept that, like, God believes. So in this, like, metaphysical world, I'm not sure if I'm using that word right, but, like, we have to... Imagine us stepping into an imaginary you, world where we allow God to exist and all the rules and all his qualities to exist. And we're in this world looking around and trying to make sense of it, right? If we live in that world, God is all powerful. God is all loving. God created the earth, you know, in seven days, according to Genesis. And in this world, he allows diseases like onchocerciasis to blind young children in Africa. And he doesn't step in to stop this. That virus shouldn't even exist. Why, why does that exist? And it occurs naturally in nature. In this world where God exists and he's supposed to be all loving and care about everybody, um, he allows children who pray to him daily to literally unalive due to dehydration, right? And you're sitting here also saying like you guys are blaming god how can you like blame god like you guys don't deserve anything from god um we don't only blame god we also know that it's due to terrible f humans 
like Europe has just destroyed Africa historically, taking all their resources, gold, metals, and everything. They have a long history of destroying Africa, right? Human beings do really shitty you things. Your own question. But at the same time, why does God deserve my praise? He doesn't do anything. For like for 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 the most terrible events that occurred throughout history, God didn't do anything to help us. God didn't do anything to save the Jews from the Holocaust. Okay, do you know what did save them? In like intervention you know what, you know, from human you know beings. You know Wait, hold on. Let me finish my sentence. You're not gonna interrupt me in the middle of my sentence. Don't don't inter don't inter don't interrupt. Coco, go go ahead and finish, and then I'll get to Lucifer. Yeah, but like when we look through history, God's not interfering and helping anybody, right? Like, like what's helping is humans stepping into these problems and dealing with them. We go to war, we fight, we give water to Africa. Oh like, my God. What, one recent example is Mr. Beast, YouTuber, whatever, right? Went to Africa, built a bunch of wells. He paid for blind people to have surgeries to fix their eyes. He did something. If he didn't do anything, nothing would have been done god's not coming to save these people so he doesn't really deserve my praise and he's kind of a dick just sitting up in heaven watching all these terrible things go down and not doing anything for thousands of people who pray to him and only a few are answered right gotcha okay so you know, pause. You know, Mr. Beast gives and, everyone put a pause hold on hold on, geek. Hold on geek. everybody put a pause everybody put a pause everybody put a pause everybody put a pause we need to get to someone who hasn't actually gone yet all right, so Lucifer, my bad, bro. I know you've been up here for for a minute. You can go ahead now. I'm sorry. Go ahead. All right, you good. Um, so I want to go back to uh, the way. Um, I'm not sure if it was you, geek, but uh, someone was saying about um, I think the host was talking about like uh, something about uh, brain cancer or something like that. And someone said that he, he, that like God, he can't just heal everyone. Well, like if he can't, if he can't heal them, then, um, he can't do something. So he's not omnipotent. I actually didn't notice that someone did say that. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Continue. My bad. Said that. Oh, I don't think it was me. I don't even get what you're trying to say to be honest. Um, what he said was, if you're saying that if God is supposed to be all powerful, if you're saying that He can't do something, that that negates Him being all powerful. Um, but we're gonna we have to let someone oh, who didn't go yet. My, we have to let someone who didn't go yet. Um, Great Stone, I know you're a believer. Did you have anything to add before I try to bring more people up to the stage? Go ahead, Great. Um, on which part? Oh, you can answer any of these if you if you want. Or you could ask um, Coco what he was saying. Go ahead and answer anything. You see the I mean, question? Go ahead. Yeah. I mean, as far as the, the amputee thing goes, I mean, I mean that's pretty self-explanatory. This nobody can grow grow limbs back. Uh, why don't God do it? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Just to be straight up with you. Fair answer. I know a lot of you. Ew. I know who nope. you been. Fair answer. Fair answer. Yeah. All right. Second one. Do you have anything about the second one or anything else anybody else said or any other questions? Uh, I think the cancer thing is, uh, I mean, I don't think God has to cure cancer because I think there's already one out there anyways, a cure for it. They just, uh, it's there. You just got to know what you're looking for. Uh, prayers. I mean, I think. I think if you do it right, praise come true. All right, cool. So I already know a lot of people are gonna wanna go ahead and, and get into this one. So let's let's go on that last one. If prayer works, why do you suffer needlessly? You say that if you pray right or you pray enough, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. If you do, then prayers come true. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of children. We're gonna use Africa right now. Who are praying to not be enslaved right now they're all still enslaved in minds so if prayer works why is that question <laughs> it's gonna be funny buddy you're saying if prayer works why do children appreciate suffer? you Hanji. thank you um go ahead Geek. i'm sorry see with me like 
I believe prayer, I believe prayer works a hundred percent. You know, if you're praying, if you pray properly, it works. But like, like, like with all these questions, like, how do you know? Like, that's, that's what, that's what, that's like the main thing is like, how do you know, like, that they're okay. praying with all their heart, you know, because when you, when Or Lama wanted when, to say something to Lucifer, by the way. When prayer, when prayer, when prayer works, you know, you have to like pray with all your heart, all your, all your soul, with all your mind. So how do you know? These mm-hmm. children are playing with all their their heart, all their soul, and all their mind. Because they're slaves. So, I mean, if you don't, I all the children come to Jesus. Do you think, like, do you think every child believes in Jesus too? Like, do you think that's just how it works? Like, what if there's yeah. children? The Bible said yeah. all the little children belong unto Him. They didn't. It didn't say only the children who Mama believe in God. It didn't say only the children who Mama never sinned. It didn't say only the children who no, believe no, with their no, heart no, and no, their no, soul yeah, and their mind. Yes, 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 yes. It said, yes, "Come yes. unto me, all problem. the little children. children. The, the children belong problem. to Him." So it's why are you trying to say some kids don't believe enough? And that's the problem when God never said that about the children. You're not quoting the scripture properly. I'm sorry. How so. are you presupposing that the children aren't praying properly? What is the proper way to pray and that we can say the children aren't praying properly? Let me let me let me help you out. So it's it's the children it's the children that you know like don't have like the mind their mind that they're on yet like Let's say conscious, like they don't have like a conscience yet, or like Thank don't you, Evan. Know the, the children that don't know the Lord and all that stuff. That I think that's the children that you know the God allows. But I'm saying okay, the- geek. So so here, here here's my thing. I'm I'm hit you with this. I'm hit you with this. Oh, mm-hmm. um, um, Feral, I'm gonna let you go next. Okay, I'm gonna let you go next, Feral. Okay. So geek, this is what I what what, what I'll say, right? Because you're going up? back to what you're not really addressing what Jayla said, but I'll hit no, you with no, this. No, no, I am. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's. Okay. Let's, let, let's do this, right? Yeah, let's up? say we give that to you. Let's say we give that to you. These kids so-called aren't praying enough. We haven't established what that means. Let's give that to you. How do you explain children who are praying with all their heart and soul in their mind, and tonight they're going to be touched by P3DO? No, 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 no. I'm sorry, but the... Yes, the yes, pre- yes, 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 yes. That does happen. No, 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 no. The yes, children, yes, yes, uh, it happens. <laughs> you're not letting me finish. <laughs> no, be, no, no, no. You have to actually address what I said because you're just saying no I am, to my I situation. Am. No, no. You, hold on, hold on, geek. Hold on, geek. You're just saying no to my situation. It happens. Okay, okay, yes, I know yes. it happens. Hold on. Yeah. I know it happens because How? there's mem- I, have, I have family members who has it happened to. So I know it happens. So they're playing so with all their heart and soul in mind. You they're, know. Playing with, they're playing with all their heart, soul, and mind, but they're getting touched by P3DOs. How do you explain that under your situation? How do you know that your family members are playing with all, we're playing with all their heart, their soul, and mind? Tell me, tell right, me. Well, you don't you remember don't, it you don't want to I'm being honest here. How you get? No, you're no, being no, disingenuous. No, you're, you're being disingenuous. Good night. Good night. Good night. You're being disingenuous. You guess like, oh. Can I just... Go and ahead, I was praying properly with my heart, yeah. my soul, and my mind as my pastor father that was the P3DO taught me. So he doesn't even, he just doesn't even realize how insensitive and disingenuous he's being right now. Yes, I believe that, uh, I believe that kids are, I believe that kids are closer to God than anybody. I think that's when you're closest to God is when you're a child. But also, um, in regards to that last thing, I just want to, just like a sentence, we can't know that they weren't praying with all their hearts. And we can't know that they were praying with all their hearts. It really just depends on the person. Like, Bela admitted that she was praying with all their heart. So, I mean. Exactly. I, um, pause everybody for a second. Right, pause everybody for a second. All right. So, I just want to thank everybody for being here. We did hit 10K likes. Please keep liking. Please keep sharing this live. I'm going to be on for probably another 30 minutes. I did want to get to everybody. Feral has been up here for a while. I do want to get to her. I do apologize for cutting you off, Feral. Go ahead. What you got? It's okay. No, I. So I, I'm 40-ish and been in the church since I was born. Um, I have two special needs kids. Um, my youngest is super high special needs, nonverbal, epileptic, all of the above. Like just, um, I get where people do the whole prayer thing. Like, yeah, I've done it. I've done it. Like, God, please heal my child. Please make her right. Please do whatever. I think that she is right. I think that she is what God intended her to be. I think that 
we forget that neurotypical, normal, quote unquote, people is not everything. It's, it's not like whatever God intended. I think that there's so much variation in color and in and, and abilities. And she's so perfect to me. And it's not a coping mechanism. It's it's that she is so right. She is so perfect. And when I pray, I, I thank God for giving her to me, for entrusting her to me because of all of her needs. I think that people get in the, the groove of like praying for um, healing, for, you know, Okay, so someone's got cancer, heal them. Someone's got epilepsy, heal them. Someone's got, you know, eczema, heal them. Like, can we just not accept that it's all okay? We're all just, this is what it takes to make humanity, society. Um, I'm okay with my child. And I realize that it's, in some ways a, det a detriment but it's also in so many ways beautiful um, because she teaches me and so many others so many things um, without her so many people wouldn't have a profession um, God, I, I can I respond to okay. this uh, yeah you can but can, can I just pause everyone real yeah. quick I know that um, Vivi wants to come up uh, Justin is okay is it okay I drop you I, I don't want to be, bring up one of my mods no, not a problem, man. I'll drop down. Nah, no problem. I appreciate you being here, man. So, in saying that she's perfect, you explain how she's making everybody else's life better. But what about her quality of life? Is, is God oh, going to no. suffer so that we praise him and see the beauty in bad things? If Because I was an epileptic baby, and my parents were scared crapless about me every five seconds. And... I can understand, you know, keeping your baby and loving your baby because I'm a mom. I have babies and no matter what, I'm going to love them. However, without my child suffering, people would not have jobs is a very crazy, devious statement because my child no, no, no. shouldn't be some experiment or some work for somebody else to do. My child no, no. shouldn't be teaching me a lesson. My child should be enjoying life and being raised. And so I think it's pretty insane to say something like that as a mom. All right. Okay. Before you um respond, and Vivi, I know you want to respond too. Pause for a second. Um, Lucifer, I'm gonna drop you. Hey, Justin, thank you, Lucifer. I'm gonna drop you real quick. I'll bring you right back up. Um, but I know Rob wants to come up, and I know Taj wants to come up. So if anybody else wants to drop down, then you guys can drop. But Lucifer, I'm, I'm gonna drop you real quick, and I'm gonna bring right. up Rob. Okay. All right. I appreciate you being here. Nice. Okay. So. <laughs> That's not what I said, and I I fully understand what you just said. I do. What I was saying was, if there weren't people that existed like my daughter, there wouldn't be the jobs that existed to help her. And so I feel like it's it's all sort of a circle. Um, that I feel like God doesn't exist to um fix our problems and and heal everything like we're born with free will and we make decisions that you know hey Pharaoh, guys... can, can i just um add something um real quick um i just want to say something from my perspective because i know vivi's gonna want to go but from my perspective <laughs> yeah. i want to say this um i i have no typical family i have a nephew who's non-verbal autistic as well all right he's a amazing kid I love I love that kid. You know what I mean? He he doesn't always trust trust me because I don't live with him, but he's an amazing kid. All right. So I don't think anyone is saying that there's something wrong with being non-neurotypical. I have Asperger's, so I, I get it. You know what I mean? But um I think what we're trying to get at when I talk to a, when I talk about needless suffering, having nonverbal autism, it's not necessarily suffering. Yeah, they may not be able to speak until they're like 15 or something like that, but they're not necessarily suffering. But when we talk about children like in the Congo, when we talk about children like my people from my parents' country, children in Haiti right now, all that suffering that they're going through is completely <laughs> unnecessary. 
You see what I'm saying? So it's it's more of those things. Children going through slavery, children going through uh, being born with cancer, being born with HIV. None of that seems necessary. Or I would go as far as to say is that it's not necessary. Those are what we're kind of reaching for when we say that why isn't God stepping in or why does he let this happen? Why? What's the point of this type of needless suffering? Oh, um, and one last thing. Taj, I know you requested a long time ago. Someone else has to drop for you to, for me to bring you up, but everyone wants to talk, talk right now. This is what we're going to do, okay? Um, Vivi, you're going to go first. Uh -huh. um, Rob, I'm going to get to you because I know you want to go. Lord, you came up, so I'm going to get to you right after Rob, okay? Um, so everybody pause real quick. Vivi, what did you want to say? Oh, my goodness. So the first thing I wanted to say kind of like what was what you said, because I'm also mom to a neurodivergent son, ADHD. He is verbal, but he has like, you know, behavioral issues. He is not suffering. So please, because I assume you're a neurotypical mom. I'm pretty sure you're a great mom. You do what you want. But it, that is something in itself that annoys a lot of neurotypical uh, neuro, neurodivergent people when you do that. When you center yourselves and your children in, in your baby's lives in such a manner. Um, and then to kind of use your, your child as a cop out to make this this grand this 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 grand claim about how it's beautiful because it brings people jobs because god doesn't doesn't fix it's just a full circle so my my child suffers so other so other kids so other people gonna have a job that's ridiculous because he's gonna create the problem right but he's not gonna fix them because yeah oh yeah keep ignoring the fact right that god created each and every each and ah, <laughs> each and every problem himself. That's what's happening, right? So I'm trying, I was, that ice. Yeah, right. I, I'm trying to. I'm trying to focus. What I all I hear is the damn um eyes. <laughs> but yeah, so God fixed the problem. Uh, God created the problem, right? But He's not going to fix it. And like Volsi said, we're talking about people that are actually suffering the children in congo they are christian and religion is the only thing they have to a lot of people and when it's the only thing that people have rest assured they're going to pray and believe with all their heart there was a time where i'm for example i'm a neurodivergent kid um, I'm not going to go into details, but I've been to, I've been through a lot as a neurodivergent kid and all I had used to be Christianity and I was not helped. I was, nothing happened for me or to me until I became an atheist and I realized it's my own life. Nobody's coming for me. Nobody's going to save me, but myself. And I'm not here to make nobody feel better about their religion. I'm not here to give nobody a damn job or money or whatever. So I want, just wanted to say that that type of mentality is very damaging, especially to neurodivergent children. Go ahead, Rob. I have ADHD too, and I pray every day that I could get off medication and just be a normal person and think like regular people and not have this un, unlimited suffering of my, my, my mind. Never we are stop. regular people. Well, yeah, I'm right not saying we're like, but our brain doesn't operate that of a yeah. neurotypical person. So I'm saying the endless thinking pattern that I'm in, the constant, yeah. I can't go to sleep because I can't stop thinking, constantly forgetting what I'm doing in the middle of doing it, not being reliable because I can never be on time. I pray to just stop. Like I used to pray to just stop this. Can I just get off medication? Can I just live my life and wake up and do what everybody else does? Yeah. Hold on real quick, Valsi. Uh, for mm. one, please, it's 91 people in the live. The likes, they moving up way too slow for my liking loves. Keep my, make sure you protect the live and support our beautiful host. And also, yes, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a very beautiful host. I'm a very beautiful host. Period. Yeah. 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 Yeah, see that <laughs> is it okay if I get rid of real geek I in the agree. comments? Because um, yeah, he you, might, you get rid of him. You get rid of him. He's not I, triggering me, but he's talking about self pity. Like, I don't care. You know me. I don't give a damn. But gotcha. he might trigger some other people talking about self pity. Um, mm. Yeah, you, we we gonna, we gonna mute you real quick if you don't stop playing around, um, um, geek. All right, but yeah, I appreciate all the gifts. I appreciate all the likes. Please keep 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 gifting the um the panel mm -hmm. if you don't agree with them. Um, I do want to get to Rob and Lord. 
um stone do you want to stay up because i know there's i know taj wants to yep. come up you want to stay up on the yeah stone? That's cool. i'll drop it I'll, I'll uh i'll just say before i go uh yeah one last thing go ahead honestly uh in my mind i believe christianity is probably the problem with all this hmm. i think that uh you know you're you're diving into a book that isn't quite you know made for you know this day and time or the fact it's not even really about most of us anyways it's uh you know it's a, a book that's just tossed together you know from about seven or eight other books i think uh the god of the bible isn't the god you think you're worshiping i believe uh you know, faith in yourself probably comes a whole lot better than having faith in some, you know, God, which when you say God, I mean, which one are you talking to? You know, please, please God help me. I feel like they're looking at, each other, looking at each other going like, who, me, you, me, you? Multiple gods out there. When I said I believe in God at the beginning, I do believe in God. You mm -hmm. know, it's my God. It's the one I believe in. God's God's not the same to every person. You can't read a book that's telling every single person that this is God. This is how he is. This is what you do. This is how you go. That's just, that's not how God is. Find your God. Pray mm -hmm. to your God. That's when your prayers come through. That's when everything starts happening for you. Uh, hey, you know something? I don't even have, I'm have a problem with that because that's exactly how African traditional religion works. And African traditional religion, whether it's Santeria, Voodoo, West African Voodoo, Hoodoo, all mm -hmm. that, it's your personal relationship with your ancestors and your deity. So, hey, W, Absolutely. w great one. Hey, I appreciate yes, you being here, um, being here, though, bro. I appreciate it. All right. Yo, can I say something right, before I drop off to you? Oh, yeah, sure. I, I'm just going to say, I don't know if somebody brought it up earlier, but if you go to Matthew 18, somebody asked about, you know, how do you know, like, how do you know God should do anything that you pray for. And I remember when I was in church, uh, Matthew 18 through 19, I think it says that um, where any two people gather together and pray in the Lord's name, that he will answer whatever they ask. And it doesn't say, it doesn't have any stipulations. It says where, it, where any two answer people ask, he'll answer it. Where any three people there gather, Jesus will be there with them. And I always got the runaround about what that meant. It's like, oh, it has to do with other things, but it's like, it's right there in plain English. Um, and the other thing I was going to say was something that I forgot which lady said, and I'm sorry, somebody said um, about how, you know, sometimes things can be a blessing if even if they're not in your favor. I, I feel like people always try to change the topic and say, you know, when you go through your struggles, it's a blessing in disguise, like something that's unforgivable, which is S.A., right? So people never want to address that exact question. It's like when a child is S.A.'d, are, it's almost like, are they, is that person arguing that God is listening to that, that child pray that that doesn't happen again, but God is actively saying, you don't, you're not saying it with all your heart, so I'm going to let it happen. You know, like they're justifying it in that way, and that's, that's disgusting to me. But that's all I got to say. I'm going to drop off. You guys can talk about it. Hey, no, but I appreciate you being here, brother. No worries, man. Right. Oops, can you uh, make me a mod? But you don't have to, but it's up to you. Oh, yeah, I, I was supposed to make you a mod. I, I'll make you right after this live, all right? Um, all right, so I know Rob and Lord and then Taj wanted to go, so let's go with Rob first. He's been up for hip up here for a while. Go ahead, Rob. Yeah, I don't know how much I have to add to um what Farrell was saying. Um, pretty much everyone else has said most of what I was gonna get at. Um, it just doesn't, um, what were we talking about? Fuck free will, um, and children. Oh. Oh yeah okay so with children and suffering and stuff like, like that yeah it just seems weird that there's people for food like that kind of like when i was leaving it that was one thing that didn't sit well with me towards the end was like when i would think of this aspect of having my prayers answered and even though i had my fair share of problems growing up i have a relatively modest life compared to somebody um living in haiti as far as problems go. So 
little things that I prayed for, like a better grade on my exam or some bullshit, like for my plans to work out for the weekend. It seemed ridiculous that like when I would pray for a little stuff like that or like I would pray for anything like it seems like and then God, I would feel like it was answered. I'm like, well, why would God answer these prayers? But then like a child being essayed or trafficked is going to be like unalived or a, a child is going to starve to death today. A child's going to thirst to death today. And some of them will, like, some of them are praying, I'm sure. I mean, I'm sure some of them, their parents are praying for them to have um, food and water. And so it's just, like, stuff like that. Cancer is just, it doesn't make any sense. Like, why would he pick and choose which prayers? And then also, if he's all-knowing, like, and he knows what's going to happen, the outcome comes. So prayers are actually meaningless yes. under Christianity. Petitionary prayers in the People to oh, no. so, but I hope she didn't drop off. She dropped off, but she just what she just did was yeah. I didn't, she, I didn't, I didn't drop her. Yeah, no, no. She made an asinine take about her child. It's actually night and trying to make me feel bad about it. When I said this might not be the space for you, if you have a take and it's, there's pushback, so she not for to be the space, and then she left. That's, That's just what true. happened. All right, All right. All right. reduce her time. child to work. I wish she didn't because what she said was beautiful. She you can record. All right, pause. We're gonna get to you. Can... Uh, pa pause. Pause. Everybody, pause. 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 Everybody, pause real quick. Everybody she's pause saying she's recording the live. Like you can record all you want, man. Yeah, you could. You could record the live. Like, I'm recording the live. You put this on my YouTube. Said, oh wait, wait, wait. She's recording. Let me tell. Let me tell her to recording this. Anytime somebody reduce their child to jobs for more people, then they just as bad as Americans' government because you're just giving them workforce and that's the problem you shouldn't be having children and thinking well they'll just be more work for other people and it, i'm happy my child is helping other people make discoveries why are you making an example out of your child that's the reason god makes suffering so that he can get praise out of people that center themselves on disabilities and neurodivergent children you yep. know the problem and that's why you dropped is because everybody called you out on it all right all right so pause yeah and for me I don't I don't think your your child is suffering because other people get jobs. I don't even consider that, you know, suffering so so to speak. It's just uh, these other things that I was talking about. So, your child, I don't know why you brought that up. I'm sure you're a great mom and you love your child. Anyway, let's uh, get to this. Um Lord, I know he's been up here for a while. Sorry about that, Lord. And then we're going to get to Taj, okay? And then I'm going to let you guys go ahead and run it. Um Lord, go ahead and say what you got to say. We're going to pause from you. We're going to go to Taj. And then we'll pause from you, and then everybody will go ahead and get it. Go ahead, go ahead, Lord. You're you're first. Yeah. Uh, what these the this is for the believers, and what they fail to realize is that they always say that God is all knowing, and He know it before it happens. Before it happens, and then again, my my uh, my take on that is that it can't be any free will because. If he know it before it happened, that means before you even came to this earthly plane, your life was already written. So that's why I tell him, everything that's going on in your life and anything in the world that's going on, it's nothing you can do to, to stop it. All your prayers, anything, stop that. Stop it because you're interfering with, with his plans because they always say all... Oh, it's it's a part of his master plan so uh, prayers don't don't do nothing and that's why when you was talking about or what you was talking about or uh, and, and and what's in your uh on your live of that i was reading i agree to all that why 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 because the simple fact is that prayer is not gonna help because he because he already written y'all life out already i'm not a believer but 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 i was a christian at, at at one point but then again if he already written written your life out your life is playing out according to his plan so whatever going is going on if it's like the like the like the children in congo because that's how he wanted to be because so all your prayers for them is worthless and he already said in the in the in the old testament he's an unchanging god so whatever he got in his mind or, or has set 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 forth in your life is not going it is not going to go un, unchanged because everything is playing out the way it's supposed to be but believers 
fall 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 short of that they all want they 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 always want to make excuses gotcha okay we're gonna we're gonna pause with, with you lord um the reason i brought j-rob up is because we're all not believers here and i didn't want taj to get jumped so so uh j-rob taj you guys are the believers here taj we're gonna get to you say what you gotta say um real quick looking back just positivity or just negativity okay if if, if that was the case this planet wouldn't exist and we wouldn't be here okay and i've heard you guys say well why do kids starve and hungry that's not god i feel like us humans we blame a lot on god and less on ourselves those are the doing of human beings not god the children are starving because human beings practice evil they they practice hate they practice greed Okay. It has nothing to do with God not answering their prayers, though. Well, hold, hold on, Rob. Hold on, Rob. Let, let, let her go ahead and finish. Let her go ahead and finish, please. Yeah, Thank you. It has nothing to do with God. We need to start blaming ourselves and less of God. And what she was saying about her child, I don't think she's saying that, oh, my child is sick because people can get a job. No, I think what she's saying is she's seen the positivity in a negative situation, which most people don't or cannot. Okay, and okay. I think that is beautiful for her to be able to see the light in darkness. Okay, so, yeah. great. Th th thank hey. you, Tosh. We're gonna. Oh, well, I'm, I'm gonna let you guys respond. I promise I'm gonna let you guys respond because I know y'all wanna. Yeah, want to. That was, um, yeah. Do like a respond. do like a um. Yeah, make an order of who can respond. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm gonna. Jump gonna her, Cause I wanna. Jump I got her. you. Yeah, I, I don't want. I don't want her to get jumped. All right, so I'm. I'm gonna let J. Rob go. Um, J. Rob, I, I do gotta put you like on like a timer. Let me put you on for like one minute. All right. So one minute, go ahead and say what you gotta say. Um, and I know uh I saw Jayla go blue first, so Jayla's gonna respond to, to Taj. And then after Jayla will be Vivi. And then um Coco and Rob, you guys can flip a coin, I guess, and one of you guys can go first. <laughs> but remember, guys, they're the they're the only two who believe on the stage, so try not to jump them. I know it's a lot. I'm not going for J Rob. I'm tired of J Rob. I'm not going for that. <laughs> I know, I know. I know. I only brought him up because I didn't want Tosh to be the only believer, okay? So, J -Rob, no one, you got one minute, bro, one minute. Go ahead. No one takes J-Rob seriously, so we're good. I know, I know, I know, I know. We're going to let J-Rob go. J-Rob, you got one minute, go, bro. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate the love. I appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, you know, God created this world so that we can, you know, experience love. And in order to have love, you have to have the possibility of hatred and evil. Um, otherwise, then we wouldn't have a choice but to love God, which from what a lot of atheists say is they don't like the God of the Bible, you know, um, they hate God. So, you know, God, he still allows you to choose to do whatever you want to do, but you will be held accountable for your evil actions and your spiteful blasphemy and stuff that y'all be doing. Uh, so, you know, at the end of the day, you know, our prayers are answered. God does answer prayers because um, it may not answer them the way you want them to be answered, but he works everything according to his will. And in some ways, um, we may not see it the way we want it to, but he'll answer it um, in, in various ways. Okay, cool. That's uh, that. That's one minute. All right, so I know y'all want to go ahead and respond to, yep. to what Taj was saying. Uh, Jayla, you first, and then Vivi, you can go, go after. I'll go ahead and take a step back. First to J-Rob, shut that up. They ain't, you just talking. <laughs> ain't none of us saying we hate God. How are we going to hate something that don't exist? Second, finding the positive in something that shouldn't exist if you believe in God. Because he could have, he knew if your child would have something wrong with them and he still created them. So he's creating the problem that people are praying to fix. And Christians are so selfish. But because all your prayers were answered, then he's good. But there's children over there. The watermelon children are praying. The children in the Congo are praying. There's children praying at night because they daddy coming in their room. It's children praying everywhere. It's people praying all across the world. It's people praying in the NICU right now, two rooms down from somebody else praying who baby is gone. So because all of y'all prayers get answered, every time we say, well, what about what is happening to these other people? Y'all say, well, God did this for me. God changed my life. What about the life of the people that's actually going through it right now? 
But because your prayers got answered, it's all cool. It's good. I mean. I mean, why would he create them knowing that they would suffer? Why would he create them knowing that this would be their fate? Why would he create them knowing that somebody else was going to come in their room at night? Why would he do that? And then have the same people praying to him in Isaiah when he created evil that these people are experiencing. Why is the same people praying to him? And they're not getting answers, but because every prayer you ever pray got answered, he good in duality and peace and love. That doesn't make sense. That's selfish. Okay, can I respond first of all? No, I want to say not, not, not yet, not yet. Um, yes, Vivi's gonna please. go, gonna go next. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, touch, hold on, touch, hold on, touch. I promise I'll let you go. I promise I'll let you go. Vivi's gonna uh, go next, and this is what I'm gonna do. To hold, me, on, touch, hold on, touch, hold on, touch. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let Vivi answer you, and then if you want to go ahead and respond to to Jayla first, I'll let you guys go back and forth for about ten minutes, and then we'll um we'll move to everyone else. Does, does that sound fair? Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, Vivi, you want to go next, and um, after that, it's going to be Jayla and Taj, and then Taj, you can answer to Vivi as well. You guys can go back and forth, and then we'll move on from there, okay? All right, go ahead, Vivi. Yeah, um, kind of, Jayla kind of said, oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, Am I echoing? Not the hey, big cat call. What does <laughs> <laughs> No, you're not echoing. Go ahead. Hold on. Am I echoing? No, you're good. Okay, so to just um, kind of wanted like kind of was going to say what Jayla said because it's like such an air of arrogance behind it to say, well, I prayed and all my prayers got answered. So, but these children, it's just they're suffering in their own fault and it's not God. But when I pray and God fixes, when I pray, God fixes my problems. But when they pray, well, God can't do nothing about it because there's nothing to do with God. It's this air of individualism and arrogance and a religion that claims to be about love and community that just it rubs me the wrong right away in so many ways and then also it's always like this because we all heard what what was it llama what she said she said what she said but Taj felt like mm, this kind of made make our plight seem a little bit bad so let me play devil's advocate for her for the things that she said i feel like in any different circumstance if if we would have a muslim up here right or any other person that's religious and they would say the same thing taj would probably be able to understand where we are coming from but because we're talking about her religion and and her worldview and her whole being like how she expresses herself and her whole personality she will not take it and she would twisted in such a way where to us it just sounds arrogant and evil almost right gotcha all right um pause thank you vivi pause pause everybody pause all right y'all we have 86 people here and 17.8k likes i do appreciate all the gifts i do appreciate all the likes let's get us to 20k within the next five minutes y'all if we don't make it a 20k in the next five minutes jayla will turn off those comments i know she will period <laughs> So 20k oh. within the next five minutes, or Jayla will turn off the comments. You all right. You gonna do it? I'm not my here. I got you. Or oh, Vivi will um, do it. Vivi will do it. I, right, I so, shall do it. But, oh, got you. Oh, sorry, Valsi, because I wanted nah. to add a question for Taj, but sure. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that when you're done. Were you done, Valsi? I didn't mean to interrupt you. Sorry. No, 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 no problem. All right. Um, I want to ask Taj. Taj, did you want to discuss with Jayla first or Vivi first? Um, it doesn't matter. Um, they both doesn't kind matter. of made the same claim about me. Um, okay, so gotcha. Just, yeah. Okay, let me let me just put on the clock. Let me just put on the clock. I'll let you guys go back and forth for ten minutes. Mom, remember to try to keep your answer short because I want to keep that ten minutes. So, um, go ahead, Taj. Respond to what you think. Uh, Hold on, ask, let me ask my question real quick. Oh yeah, so, go Taj, ahead, After all, you just heard what we said, right? And what based on what you said, what makes you think that you are more deserving? Or better in God's eyes for all of your prayers to be answered, but these children who are also Christian, right, probably less in sin than you are because you live in in a, in a first world, in a, and have a lot of temptation around you. What makes you more deserving for your prayers to be heard, but not the not these babies? All right, fifteen minute discussion. Go ahead, guys. First of all, that's an unfair question. Secondly, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's not an unfair question. 
Let, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Okay. Go okay. Ahead, okay. You guys are not listening. You are just listening to respond. When I first started off talking, the very first thing I said is, I am not religious. I do not believe in religion. I believe in God. Two different things. So if you were listening, you would know that. Secondly, like you guys are assuming of me who I am as if you know me because I'm saying something that doesn't sit well with you. Okay, I am not a Christian. I have never been a Christian in my life. Okay, I'm actually I grew up as a Muslim. Thank you very much. Um, but today I see myself as a spiritual person as a spiritual being. Okay, so yeah, you were not listening to me at all. And I'm sorry you felt sensitive about what I said. <laughs> Girl, you don't. Rossi, please. Uh, uh, quick, quick interjection. I'm sorry. Quick interjection. Quick interjection. Um, please Tosh, we need we need a little bit of clarification. You said that you didn't grow up as you didn't grow up as a Christian. You so said you're not. You grew up Muslim, but you're not that anymore. You consider yourself a spiritualist. So the God that you believe in, do you believe that the God that you believe in, is simply sits outside the universe and doesn't do anything, or actually yes. actively intervenes with the universe? No, he does not actively intervene within okay, our Okay, so you're more of a deist then? I believe that mm -hmm. we have free wills, okay? And he does not intervene. <sighs> okay. A lot of the negative things that happen on planet is because of human beings. Okay, so the God that you believe in simply created the universe and then he like fucked off somewhere to another universe. That, that, that was going on? I would not say fucked off. Okay. He screwed yeah. off somewhere to another universe. Is, is I would that not what say is? screwed off. The nigga ain't here no more. <laughs> he went somewhere <laughs> else. <laughs> I, I would not say he's not here anymore either. Oh, okay. Lord. So, religion by I mean, definition I mean, means yeah, to believe in God. Right, Jayla. I was about to so say, because now she gave me the green light to be feisty with her. He like, has no power nice to and you know what? Okay, if, if, me, if me caring okay, about you care in a second, honey. towards children, okay, if me caring me. about what's going on with children is bad, if me caring about people across the world is sensitive, then I'll be sensitive because I'm not going to sit here and be like, well, they not. it doesn't matter because I'm okay. I live in my apartment. I got AC. I got Wi-Fi. That's not what I said at all. Okay, but you're calling us sensitive <clears throat> for caring about children. No, no, about what I said. I said you guys are sensitive to what I said, not about No, because no. What you, you said what invalidated you children who are praying to the same thing. Oh, my gosh. You guys are just oh my God. attack me and not to listen. Girl. Taj, do you understand okay. where they're coming from? <laughs> I do not, because so, I feel like they're okay. personal. Taj, they're getting Taj. personal. No, you do got you personal first, honey, because now? you're feeling attacked. Oh. Hold on, hold on. What? I, oh, Vossi's talking. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Pa pa pause real quick. I, I, I did. I, I'm not sure if that was Rob or that was. Yeah. Oh, uh, that was Rob. What, okay. okay. Rob, go, go, go ahead. Do you? Um, you do you? Okay. You say you're not a Christian. You say you're not a Muslim anymore. So. Are you still worshiping the God of the Bible, but you're not no. tied to any religion, right? No, I do not tied to any religion. No. I so you're just praying to a God that you know nothing of. He's a spiritual God. Of course, I know everything about him. Wait, how okay. you praying? If you don't answer right. uh, how you yeah, praying? Okay. I'm very confused. Right. Huh? Well, okay, guys, guys, pause, pause. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm sorry well, to keep interjecting. She here. can pray to a God, but technically, the God is only exists in her mind. She said that he don't interact with nobody or nothing in the universe. Yeah, he don't have, so right. it only pause, exists in her pause, mind. Pause, 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 I wanted to let my plane with her. Yeah. Hold up. Everybody pause so, real quick. Hold up. Yeah, it's everybody cool. pause real quick. Hello, cool. J Rock. Uh, Hold talking. Hold talking. Hold talking. Yeah, everybody pause real quick. Um. Okay, Taj, I don't mean to jump you, but we we kind of need clarification. So it's not the Bible God, it's not the Quranic God. Um, it's you said it's not the deist. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You said it's not it's not the deistic God because the deistic God creates the universe and then he he leaves. You do you think that the God that you worship actually interacts with the universe actively, like he does things, or it does things? Hmm. No, I think okay, you already cool. said the law, and based on how you follow that law, right? Okay, so outcome. this this is our question, Taj. 
that law that you're saying that exists, where did it come from? Like, is there something that we can read for, for us no, to know that law? No, it's in or the no? nature. It's in okay, nature. Okay, in our nature. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I got you, I got you. So I kind of understand the God that she believes in, y'all. This is, this is Spinoza's God. Spinoza's God is the God of, of nature. It's the God of the, the, the universe. So everything yes, that yes. we are, everything that we do, is basically what, um, what God is, which basically means there's no God at all. You're wasting our time. No, there is a God. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god! Oh, did you hear what you said? He, us, he summed it up. Nature means yeah, God is everything. Did. God is nature. God is the universe, which is basically functional to no God at all. You are wasting our time. Not at, uh, all. Not at all. Because hey, I feel like it's, it's, it's algorithm. Um, I mean, we all understand it differently. Oh yeah, I'm gonna right? algorithm up. No, all we do understand. Basically. You just you just can't exhaust us. No, I think we all understand it differently. It. Calm down, she. Basically, Honey, basically, she's saying on, God is, is, is within quiet, her. Quiet, yeah, everybody quiet. Pause, everybody pause, quiet. Everybody pause. Everybody pause. Pause. Go ahead, So. Vicky. Taj, I'm gonna tell you right now, honey. Okay. Come on, attack me, honey. Listen, I will. I will now. Okay, because there is order in this life. Oh, you know how to. So, get. I don't care about your little emotions. You telling me to calm down while your voice is raising? It's, it's cute. You're if not... you keep, if you unmute one more time, you're gonna drop, and we're gonna talk to you. Oh, we're gonna talk about you while you're not. We're gonna talk about you while you're not uh, in the box. And there we go. So yeah, don't, what don't this that. lady, I think this is like the religion of uh, narcissism. Her God, her God's name is Narcissus. Because at this point, it's just ridiculous. She said, God does not intervene with nothing, but he, he answered all her prayers, right? <laughs> so that is just ridiculous. That doesn't yeah. even make sense. So she's just a person that just needs something for herself, but she doesn't want to mm -hmm. share it with others. That's just what it is, because she couldn't even answer any question Nope. Um, without her little <laughs> tricks and gaslighting tactics, which which don't work in here, because most of us are neurodivergent and we can read you like a book, honey. So we don't really care. So either come up with sense or don't come up at all, because you're not gonna like it at the end of the day. Yeah, <laughs> basically. True. Okay. True. So at this point, I'm, I'm sorry, Lord. I'm, I know you want to go. You want to get into the discussion. All right. So at this point, y'all, we only have uh, J. Rob left as the, the the last believer on this stage. Try not to jump J Rob, y'all. I, I know sometimes he say things that we that we think is ridiculous, but try not to jump him, please. He's the only believer left, unless another believer comes comes on the stage and I let them on. But J Rob is the only believer left. All right, so J Rob, <laughs> we're gonna discuss with J Rob. J Rob got it. He's strong. <laughs> He's yeah, telling us. Right. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Jera, welcome. Y'all making Jera, us go into emotional dysregulation. Jera, <laughs> welcome to the lion's den. Are you ready to fight with the lions? Damn, Damn bro. Like... I ain't worried about y'all. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a problem. All right, y'all. Like, so worry about nothing. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead. Uh, Rob, hold on, hold on. One at a time. Too many that voices. Stuff works. Yeah, too many oh, voices. That one. All right. <laughs> All right, chill, chill, chill. So, okay, so let's go ahead and um discuss with J Rob. So, J Rob, if I remember your last statement correctly, you're talking about how um I ain't gonna lie, I forgot because you know Taj confuses everybody. Go ahead. What happened? You went out, bro. Oh, thank you for the gifts. God be the glory. I don't even know what we're talking about right now, though, but... Um, but yeah. he was trying to say, what were you saying so that we could respond to you? Uh, shoot, I don't forgot, man. Y'all y'all been all over the place with old girl. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, go go ahead and go with these three subjects here. Go ahead and uh, answer to these. Come on, uh, J-Rob, you're the chosen one. Why doesn't God heal amputees? I don't know. He, I don't know if he does. He might have healed an amputee before. We just may not have seen it. Um, why doesn't God cure cancer on a consistent basis? Uh, I don't know that either, but he has healed cancer multiple times. Mm -hmm. If prayer works, why do children suffer needlessly? Um, I don't see the correlation. Pr prayer works. God, God hears our prayers and he answers them in various ways. Uh, if people unalive from cancer, they're in a better place, you know, or, you know, 
if, the, if, if children aren't alive from cancer, they're in a better place. So <clears throat> that's all that matters. I'll make a comment to that because I heard another crystal. So it could be praying for somebody to be healed, but their exactly. prayer could be to unalive and God answer that prayer. You said what? Somebody said that a Christian said on a panel that Christians, we might pray for somebody to be healed or something mm -hmm. like that, but they could be praying to unalive. So we don't know which prayer got answered. <laughs> um, I, I don't know about all that. That's kind of crazy. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't never heard that before, but I mean, who knows? Yeah, no, that's actually wild. Yeah, but you know, like like I said, at the end of the day, you know, everything it it yeah, God does everything according to His will. Um, our prayers can be answered in various ways. Just because we don't always get what we want, that doesn't mean that God hasn't answered our prayers. Hey Amen. Tell them, brother. Now, what I want to know from J Rob is about these uh, limbs that were regrown. If you could cite your sources, um, in uh, in the Bible, uh, <laughs> there were dead bones that. That's a claim. That's not that's a source. Claim. He says, "I'm my source." About, let's try the modern Bible. day. <laughs> the Bible is my source. No, that's not how that works. You got to cite. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Which Bible? Because there's over a thousand Bibles. So which one are, are, you, are you referencing to? Are you sure? Who? Any any Bible, any Bible, whatever Bible you want. No, to all about. Bibles don't 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 say the well, same, where, brother, where, and I can prove that. Where, where, okay, pull up any Bible, and they all say the same. Okay. Have hey, you heard of the uh, Geneva Bible? Hey, yeah. let's um. Hey, hey guys. Um, sure. I, I gotta say something real quick. Coach talking. Um, pause real quick. I gotta get out of here in about fifteen to twenty minutes. So something's wrong with my Grammy. Okay, so yeah, I, I'm gonna give y'all about fifteen minutes, and then we're gonna end the live. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, host. Just tell them God bless them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we got also, somebody thank new. You for... um, also, thank you <laughs> for having me. Um, I'm gonna be here till the end, but thank you. Yeah, I'm not, no, no problem, Coco. Uh, Jamal, are you a believer? Of course I am. All right, cool. Um, I'm gonna set the clock for 20 minutes, and then we're gonna have to get out of here, okay? Yeah, do what you gotta do, man. I'm, I'm getting, I'm on the clock right now myself, man. I'm just joining these uh -huh. little channels, hearing all the hate. You know, I'm trying to see who all let got. You know, I got time to let them let, get it out their system, man. A lot of people on here need hugs. What? <laughs> yeah, they need like, hugs, so, man. They vibration low. He finna be a he finna be a yapper. Okay. Yeah. Right, so Jamal, what do you think of the the um? Been talking the, about vibration. vibration. Yeah, I'm talking about uh, vibration. Okay, yeah. hold on. Yeah. 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 Positivity. Yeah. 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 If you negative, if you a negative Jamar. person, your life gonna be yeah, negative. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're super Pause. negative. All right, Jamal. Please answer the uh, answer the prompt, please. Answer the quick questions on the prompt. <laughs> Jamar, you can unmute yourself. Go ahead and answer the, the questions on the top, please. He probably still yapping. <laughs> yeah. But Jamar, are you still there? You can unmute yourself, sir. Please answer the questions on the prompt. You got no negative? Come on. All right. So, Jamar, so why do you think God doesn't heal amputees? Y'all gotta ask God. Why? I'm not here to answer God's questions. Okay, goodbye. Real. Oh, okay. Cool. Why doesn't scared? God cure cancer? Y'all ain't got no negativity to let out. No, but but Jamar, Jamar, we're asking your opinion. Why do you think God doesn't cure uh, amputees? My opinion is this, man. You make positive and negative choices in life. If y'all got a problem with God and why He ain't working fast enough, that's something y'all gotta take up with Him. Cool. Plain and simple. If you why don't believe God in Him, you don't believe in Him. No, we're, we're gonna get we're gonna get to all that. So why do you yeah. think God doesn't cure cancer on a consistent basis? The, the same reason the doctor give y'all placebo pills, but y'all ain't at the doctor's office asking why that's a sugar pill. <laughs> you awesome. ain't asking Burger King why they got all, right, all so, that GMOs. Yeah, 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 trying yeah, to yeah, question yeah. God. Come on, Demar, 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 Demar. Make it make sense. Okay, Demar, hold on. Okay, so Demar, let me ask another question. Do you think prayer works? 
Man, I know it worked. My lifestyle will tell you. My credit score, awesome. my finances, awesome. my whole lifestyle. Uh, awesome. J Jamar, Jamar, Jamar. Yeah. I don't need to know about your business. So, oh, I might as well tell it to you. Jamar, Jamar, please. I don't need to know about your business. I'm very glad that you live a successful life. I'm happy for you. Yeah, I'm doing pretty if good. Prayer, if prayer works, why do children suffer needlessly? So y'all don't know about generational curses. Y'all got to go back and look into that. But uh, like I keep telling y'all, y'all got to look. The generation can be cursed for 13 years, 13 generations up. But like I keep telling you. I'm not the here prayers to don't work. Y'all got to go talk so, to God yourself. If you are hateful person and, and Jamar, you scared of God. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me go next. Let me go next. You're talking about, Jamar, hold on. You're talking about generational curses. How yeah, are generational are curses, bro. Listen, Jamar. Listen, Stop, Jamar. Jamar, please. Man, listen, this, tick, this, this is, is TikTok. The last, this is the Jamar, last time Jamar, we're going to say this, Jamar. Hold on. I'm not going to cry. This is the last time we're going to say, why do we keep getting men children in here? Jamar, when Bosey is speaking, Jamar, you wait and you're quiet. Thank you. Go ahead. Jamar, it works. It works like this, okay? When I'm speaking, you don't speak. Understood? That's yeah, how we listen, keep order you're not here. my daddy. When I'm speaking, you, you don't speak. That's how we keep this order is entertainment. here. But I'm gonna be on right right That's how we keep order right. here. Three, oh. Spanking, Goodbye. spank, 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 spank. Bye. And Jamar was looking it's for a lot of mercy. He already just told y'all he was surfing through love. Yeah, yeah, he just wanted yeah. to argue, so he had to go. How you yeah, Christian sure. talking about vibrational? I don't think that aligns with the Bible. <laughs> it doesn't align at all. <laughs> anyway, y'all, um, let me go ahead and get out of here. I got to pick up my grandma from work. But I do love and appreciate everybody. I do love and appreciate all the gifts that we got. I appreciate you, Coco, for co-hosting with me for an hour before we, we got, you know, into the panel. Um, I got you, man. I appreciate it. I'm going to be back here on Thursday, but Thursday, y'all, is going to be more of a of a one-on-one -on -one thing. So I do want y'all still be still to be here. So if someone comes up and you want to go ahead and discuss with them, let me know. And I'll drop someone and bring you up so y'all can, can go one-on-one -on -one with each other. That's all fun. Sounds good. Hey, if you guys haven't followed Volsey, please do so. He puts on some of the best lives. Hey, I appreciate you. I'll go. I appreciate you. All right, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Do y'all have any last words to say? Be well. God sucks. I have more morals than your God. Yeah, repent, <laughs> repent, and turn to Jesus Christ. Stop. He doesn't exist. We know he doesn't no, exist. Wrong, That's why children actually, are suffering. Stop blaspheming. Uh, God, God is such a bad God. 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 He, now, 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 according to his God, according to his God, <laughs> I'm better than part his plan. I'm better than his God. His God plan. I got better morals. Hey, really I don't quick. believe in children <laughs> suffering, and I don't stand for injustice, and I don't support slavery, so I'm better than your God. Period. Yeah. <laughs> All right, pause real quick, y'all. Pause real quick. Let, um, let Coco say one last thing. Let Coco say one last um, thing, and I'm going to end it. Go ahead, Coco. I was wondering, uh, could I plug real quick? I might do a late night live tonight while I'm building my gaming chair. All right, cool. Ooh. Hey, y'all, follow might, Coco might for a late, 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 a late night uh, gaming uh, live. All right? All right. Yeah, uh, I'll be doing a live while I uh, build my gaming chair. So if everyone wants to follow me there, I'll be chilling for a bit. All right, y'all. I appreciate I appreciate all y'all. Y'all have a good night. All right, peace out. Y'all too. Take care of yourselves. Yo. Hey, black is beautiful. Peace. All the